Hello, welcome to the finals and the name reveal. So, can somebody please sing some beautiful, epic music? No. No? There we go. <laughs> look, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you very much for that epic music. And that was it. Um, so the name is just Spark. Um, as I have mentioned before, the name isn't anything The name's crazy. not just Spark. The name's Spark. It's Spark. Yes, it's, it's Spark. Spark! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Spark. It's so exciting! It's finally, we finally have the... Oh, it's like, finally! It's a, it's finally, a Spark. I can stop calling it standalone. Yeah. I know. We can yeah. stop calling it Spark. Yes, we can start calling it Spark now. Um... Everyone's calling it Spork. Spork? No, right. yes. It's not it's already Spork. Everyone's spork. spanking spork. chat. It's not Spank. <laughs> no, it's Spork. I'm totally cool with it being Spork. Spork. I'm, I'm down with Spork means. Spunk. Right. <laughs> spark turf. Definitely not that. Right. Spork Spank. Um, spork. Yes. So spork. the game is called Spark. Um, there are... So we decided to call the game based on the lore, not so much on the gameplay. Also, there... Oh, oh, shit, this is far too big. Ah, there we go. So you can find us on the social medias, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, took me an entire and we have a Discord. A lot of hard work. Hey, everyone, pile on the Discord. Let's see who gets yeah. in there first. And please like Spark on Facebook because I actually need to change the username and I need 25 likes to do so. So it's. There they are. Bob Higgs is the first one in. Spark Mobile. No, I got also, with PH also first. Shushama made us a beautiful oh, no. uh, origin story uh, comic. Um, oh, he already did that. That fucking. Of course he did. <laughs> this is a work of art, I think. <laughs> And yes, so just to give a little bit of an idea of like, why is the game called Spark? What does Spark stand for? So in our game, um, in our game, we have expressed before or I've explained before that there's basically, uh, it's basically like a low fantasy setting that was infused with fantasy. And it's all about the change from the low fantasy setting to the high fantasy setting. And that's currently where we are. That's where it takes place in a kind of transitionary area. And um, that energy that is flowing through the world, we decided to call the spark. That's the spark. And... Um, then after thinking about it for a long time, we eventually just came to the conclusion, let's just call the game Spark because there isn't actually really any game that is called Spark and it's kind of a nice game, nice name. Um, so yeah. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, please go there. Um, get us to the, get us some likes and shit. Go, all, go over there. We have a Discord. I'm going to just... Oh, yeah. uh, we do have a Discord that I made. Please yes. join it. Join the Discord. Uh, Mickey is going to be posting the links to all of this shit in chat yeah. um, while we're doing the finals. And just like continuously paste like the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram, and the Discord links. All right, let's get Yo. people in here. Um, <laughs> yes, so uh, game is called Spark. Um, I think it's a fine name. What do you guys think of the name? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being very impressed and 1, oh, okay, well, I expect, I kind of, I don't know, this was kind of okay. What what do you think this game is at? What is this name? So the upgrade cores are not called Sparkless. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but the upgrade cores are actually in lore. They are condensed spark energy, um, right? Um that's basically how it goes. Like we were, we spent a lot of time thinking about what we were gonna call that energy that's floating through the world and what what like the background lore, like for that kind of stuff. And eventually we settled uh, on Spark and yeah. So yeah, but yeah, uh, upgrade cores are actually uh, condensed Spark energy. That's what they are. Yeah. Anyway, please join our channels. Please hang out. Uh, we are not changing the game name to Spork. <laughs> that's really quite a quite disappointing. You guys can can keep asking for it. That doesn't mean it will happen. 
There will be no sporks today. Actually, I don't know how to um <laughs> I, can't I don't wait know how to things. make a like team only chat. Like I, I can't I can't take everyone out of the thing. Um, uh, what you do is you disable the chat permission. Yes. So by the way, guys, yes, we and do know that there's a game on Steam that's already called Spark. But I do also want to point out that that game has a total of three, not 300, not 30, three user <laughs> reviews. Um, we decided that we might be able to handle that competition. And yep. uh, yes, if you guys, of course, <laughs> want to go there and leave some more user reviews and give that guy some more, some more purchases of his beautiful game, um, then please feel free. Or their beautiful game, apparently it's a whole company. Jesus. No, um, no, no yeah. shade. None. Yes. So. Anyway, that's fun. <laughs> Look at the only post in questions. <laughs> what what questions? Yes. Yes. yes hello. hello. I was I wondering if, if you could, could play, play that song, song again. again. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, do you want to do it again? Do you want to play the song again, and I do the name reveal again? <laughs> Yes. Okay. That's a reveal song. Perfect. I mean, I just never forget it. That I mean, that was incredible. We really gotta get somebody to make like a an orchestral version of that. <laughs> Facebook.com slash SparkMoba doesn't work. Yes. It doesn't. We it need you to like. Yet. That's why I'm making you spamming the Facebook link yeah. in, in. Please like the page. I need you need to like the page like first. It. Oh, we have 25 likes. You can change it now. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we needed 25 she likes before we could have Facebook.com/slash SparkMoba. Yeah, thanks Facebook. But oh, yeah. and can you guys rate it five stars? Because we have totally owned that. <laughs> Wait, can you rate it? Yeah, you can rate pages now. Oh. Facebook has done some crazy shit. There we go. It should work now. Facebook.com slash SparkMOBA. Let me see if this works. Dot com slash SparkMOBA. And because it is a MOBA, we called it SparkMOBA. And also, every, <laughs> like, uh, usernames with Spark in them are so hard to get. Yes. Like, we, are, I'm actually really glad that um, people brought up SparkMOBA because all of our usernames were different on all of our other sites. When we first started up, it was like Spark Game, Play Spark, like all this But yeah, like, stuff. eventually yeah. we managed to snatch up SparkMOBA. That's the one problem with Spark. There's a lot of, um, like, a lot of things already taken up because it's a pretty, it, I mean, it's just a generic word, essentially, but yeah. <laughs> can, can we not put the website up? That's not ready yet. How did you guys find that? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's hard to find. It's, yeah, it's I was gonna say no, it's not very hard to find. To find. Uh, if I Google really? Spark Mobile, do I just immediately get the website? Most likely, because it'll be in its uh, search parameters. No. Mobile for Spark. Oh, project actually, Spark I don't. Game? No, neither do I. I guess they um, just put in Spark Mobile. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You know, Alpha well, brand. If they put in SparkMobile.com, then it'll probably redirect. <laughs> you wouldn't want to play you do that today? Spark. <laughs> Anyone want to play some Spork? <laughs> when is when is the reveal song going to be on Spotify? There's a song released on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are the finals starting? I coins. really hope you guys like my... Um... Oh, yeah, and the Twitter is up as well. It's um, Please go and like that. And um, I'm actually waiting to post stuff on spark that's actually a bit more like polished and stuff not just like concept art because we had that on thinking bottle um stuff that's like pretty much confirmed for stuff like confirmed for the game yeah we'll be posting oh. some good shit on social media like i will be writing some smaller articles like basically explaining like maybe i'll be showcasing some heroes and stuff like that um you know we'll be showing off general artwork designs um um, we'll also like I'm sure Chris can start like do short little write-ups on technical stuff like we are not afraid to show you guys pretty much all of the inner pieces of how we're putting this together behind and, the scenes yeah and that's what we want to do we want to take people along the entire way mm. if you guys have any questions or queries or suggestions for the um the discord that you would like to see then um 
I would be more than happy to do that. We have suggestions. And, it's Timmy uh, revealed yet. Yes, it's Spork. <laughs> it's Spork. <laughs> oh my god, Spock is here. That's Spock. The game <laughs> name is Spock now. Yeah. Spock manga. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, also, if uh, if anyone wanted to make some, some cool fresh memes, post your, your cool hip hip fresh memes then if, if they're hip oh yeah we're totally posting enough. your memes on fucking social media oh yeah then there's... we'll totally post your memes yeah, yeah hook us yeah. up with the memes yeah, yeah. they just they i mean just, like just we literally hip. just hired satsa for some memes so <laughs> we hired an official professional satsa, satsa's official role <laughs> on the thinking bottle team as professional mima <laughs> i left you feedback in suggestions Dear Mr. Baumman, I noticed an unnecessary amount of GGing in your tournaments. What do you think of just coin tossing before every game to decide a winner so people can just play a game without suffocating through the lack of memes? I wish you a nice day, Mr. Schumann. <laughs> Mr. Schumann. Thank you. This is good advice. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, this is this is spark i'm so excited that we get to i'm not excited i'm just happy that I'm we so don't excited. have to call it stand on anymore same and then yeah, I'm, same. Sure, I'm sure steph will be like because <gasps> <gasps> she called it the standalone for ages <laughs> well i wouldn't be surprised if she continues calling it the standalone she's i love her <laughs> she's <so nice>. <laughs> <laughs> all right come on let's get the final started we're, we are there. <laughs> um, have we flipped? Or they they did say oh. they wanted a ten minute break, but that was almost ten minutes ago. Have we flipped a coin for him? I will flip a coin. Heads for Laranol, tails for the others. I forgot their name. Wait, I need to. <laughs> Way to death. Way to death. There we go. I have <clears throat> an Instagram That's tails. message. That says, hey, congrats, guys. Thanks. Nice. Spork. Spork alone. Yeah. Spork alone. <laughs> spork. <laughs> the spork. <laughs> We're just a bunch of lonely sporks here. Should have called it the standalone. No, we should have called it the spork. <laughs> if the color champ doesn't have a spork, I mean, go out. Then. <laughs> that took people like all of the This is going to be our Pepsi to story. With. It's just like. <laughs> Which character do we give a spork? Let's let's take a quick look at some character designs we have. Where's 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 Jeremy when you need him? <laughs> we need to give the golem like This a is spork. the kind of shit Jeremy would be all about in making our characters be just a giant spork. <laughs> Here. How about this guy? Are you ready for revealing this drop all to change the game name to Spark. <laughs> so I feel like this guy would be a great candidate where instead of holding up a club, he holds up a spork. Um, XD so random. Why is Spark a MOBA but not an Angel Arena anymore? It's still an Angel Arena. It's just not called Angel Arena because that's fucking lame. Lame. It's not lame, but it's just uh, it's okay. No, it's if we lame. if we left the name as Angel Arena, that would be stupid. That wouldn't be interesting. That would be just. Hey, how's Spark more interesting than Angel Arena? Because it's different. It's different. It's our thing. Because we, like we've already grown attached to it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the image someone just put of the Spark. But am, I a joke? am I a joke to Thanks you? Thanks <laughs> for this very great poll of changing the name to Spark. Yes. Am I a joke to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh early concept art that's good concept art <laughs> you guys are the worst <laughs> uh. early concept art <laughs> guys you ready for the early concept art <laughs> <laughs> it's really good early concept art. That's pretty actually. damn good oh, that early is, concept art. That is some supreme awesome shit. That's some good that shit. Is some, that is some sick concept art right there. I mean, like, that's like a proper 3D render, render and everything. Good shadows, reflections. Like, that's good shit. God, that's high quality. Yeah, that's not even that early in the process. I'm actually surprised you managed to get a hold of that. 
Yeah, that Whipper just had like Moss Wig. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to security oh. audit everyone's computers now. <laughs> Someone just posted <laughs> the boardroom meetings <laughs> meme. <laughs> oh. Right. oh, actually, Adam, I think Adam is the league. Did you see what Adam <laughs> just posted in general? Yep. No. Yes, yeah, what Adam just posted in general. God damn it. He can't trust anybody anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Spork body pillow win. It's definitely Adam. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. All right, come on. Where are these nerds at? When can we go into the finals? You know, like the artifact tournament is starting right now. I want to watch some of that. There it is. All right, artifact preview tournament. All right. Like, this is really important to me. You know, I might actually, after we're done with this right here, I might just spend the rest of the evening on stream watching the Artifact Tournament. Like, that sounds hella sick. I don't know if anybody's up for that, but I'm up for it. Um, The tab icon on the browser of a spot wood on it looks like a Minecraft block. No, that's just because I haven't <laughs> changed it because I don't have a, a spot load. Well, the website wasn't tagging. supposed to be shown yet. No, like, it's, the, that's it's just not something ready. you nerds found before. The website is not ready. The website, is, we will get the website ready, but it is not ready yet. Okay. Yeah, it, it was definitely not. I wanted to have something where it's like all centralized for you guys, but it just didn't end up working out that way. And yeah. <laughs> you guys weren't supposed to see it. Spark alone. <laughs> My official um official post on the the progress part of our company Discord is the game name is announced. Generally good reception. It took zero point five seconds for the name to open to a. <laughs> yes, instant memification. Is not that illegal to stream the stream? No, it isn't. Uh, lots of people were doing that yesterday. And if lots of people do it, it can't be illegal. Well, at least it's, it's too hard likely. to enforce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they get to, to Spark Discord? Um, well, we have oh. links somewhere. I got it. I got it. I got um, it. We got is... you links. We'll hook you up. Yeah. I got to edit the invite link for it to expire never. Um. I really hope I didn't okay, just, like, ruin the forward. last link. Please say that I didn't. Oh, okay, phew. <laughs> Thank goodness. If everyone just calls it Sporkalon, the name doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, you guys can call it Sporkalon if you want. They don't really mind. <laughs> like, if that makes you happy, you can you can call it Sporkalon. You can call it whatever you like. You can call it whatever you like. like. Right. Oh, and by the <laughs> way, we'll probably like hang be hanging out in the Spark Discord or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, I'll be checking. I'll be on Discord fairly regularly, just like checking the suggestions. So don't aim yeah. too hard, guys. Okay. Because uh, yep. How do you? Oh, yeah, you can see that there are people on the Discord. Meme harder. No, Chris, do not. <laughs> what just are you memeing? <laughs> oh, I love that one. Look at the art and memes one. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Frozen Knight, yes. That was really good. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh. That's just, I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna post that on the social media. <laughs> That's going up immediately. <laughs> oh, thank you, chat. That's good quality shit. Yeah, it is. I like how the file name is also just meme.jpg. <laughs> <laughs> As if it wasn't clear enough. That file name's my spirit animal. Oh. <laughs> I was literally just going on everything now. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Oh, Twitch.
Twitch chat, you are good quality. Chad Twitchington. That's <laughs> the one guy in Twitch chat. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy, Chad. Chad Twitchington, right? Chad Twitchington, yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> oh, that's good quality. <laughs> Meme.jpg. <laughs> this meme reveal literally made my day. It actually made my day, too. This is, this is good stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm very happy with this. Am I replacing Zatsa spot now? Well, no, we already got a professional meme. Like, Zatsa got this under control. Oh man, Facebook ate my- Facebook ate my memes! Fucking Facebook, Jesus. Facebook's actually, like, a nightmare. They have just clogged up their like interface thing for for pages so much that i can barely find Everything anything i it's think facebook is a nightmare even without that that's a good point and they're off all right i mean i usually use i use facebook for like okay well we have a game, game going on so <laughs> let's actually try to commentate it properly for once and i'll get distracted <sighs> No GGs, guys. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, don't fucking call GG, okay? I will game. enforce this shit in the finals if it has to be. <laughs> Life was easier. Hey, with thanks, Spork Moba, yeah. for the sub. <laughs> Man, these these memes are coming like hot and yeah, like <laughs> fucking like normal brain spark, spark, spark alone, spark alone G -G galaxy alone. brain, G -G alone. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm also really, really excited because I finally thought of an idea to make my uh, my Twitch emote that I have for my two subs. Are you gonna make it a spork? <laughs> make a spork. That's just science. <laughs> There's so many memes in here. God damn it's it. It's already people. started. Just I memes, love it. Look, look at the shit. Like, <laughs> and first the Spork was born. Spark, Spork, Spork alone. GG alone. GG alone. Oh, man. Okay, well, we actually do have a game going on. Kunka and Lich being banned out. And the fact that Lich is being banned, that's how you know these are actually good teams. It's true. Lich was like first fan first pick to like every game during the major yeah and outside like but outside of that nobody picks lich but yeah, these yeah. are some try hard picks and bands here ancient apparition still what can still. we do to make this hero not be picked <laughs> what can we do his Q, like like the, the level 25 talent now no longer has 900 aoe it has 400 aoe what can I do to make it so people stop picking this hero? Okay, that is fine. <laughs> that is fine. Everything, everything's fine. <sighs> okay, so by the way, really quick sports. note again, please go to our social media that actually, that shit actually is like important and really helpful. And if you yeah, could do that, it would be awesome. But anyway, so we're- my day. Thank you guys. So we are going into this game. Now, Olga Magic being first pick, we've got the Undying and Witch Doctor follow up. And now we're going into pick number 10 here. It's going to be Grimstroke. Let's nice. go, boys. Let's Go oh, there we go. Ah, I'm, I'm so really excited. Expecting to see him. I'm surprised we didn't see him yet. I am so excited. I love it with the ogre magi, right? Because like you just ultimate two people and perma stun them with the ogre. Yeah. Yeah. Ah oh, man. Oh, I'm so excited. This is actually the first time I've seen Grimstroke and like competitive OA. I mean, it's gonna be hella. Yeah, sick. this this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Um, um, I like that both teams started out drafting some just brawler supports. Yeah, I think they've been pretty even too. Like I. Yeah. Undying and Witch Doctor are really strong, but so Ogre Magi and Grimstroke. I, I think both sides can definitely keep up with each other here. <laughs> Although, of course, Undying Undying is probably stronger at like level 1, 2, level 3, but like once you get past that point, you'll be fine. And with the new bounty runes, it's actually much easier to consistently get past that point. So, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, hey, Abba just logged on. Hey, Abba, we announced the name. 
I need an explanation. What's Spark Mobile? <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of our game, dude. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> These fucking minions. What? What are you? He's just crying. It's a KFC and Twitch channel like bonded over Spark. <laughs> 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 I love the Batman man. we're calling our game Spock. Spock! Where are you finding this game for 2018 type pops? Spock means. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, that one is my favorite. <laughs> 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 the spork button, the GitHub spork button. Oh my god. That's brilliant. That's, that's really good. That is such a specific meme and I love it. This right. is the most specific meme. Okay, there's a draft going on. Okay. Um, Spectre and Io got banned, as well as Sniper and Ursa. <laughs> Did you fix bounty runes? Yes, we have recently fixed bounty runes. It was one of the most recent, most important additions to the game. Um, so bounty runes now scale really, really well, and they give uh, golden experience to everybody on the team. They're very powerful. So securing bounty runes is very important, and you will see these teams fight over them. Like, that, that is 100% going to happen. All right, we've got Io being banned out, Spectre. Um, Ursa and Sniper. Well, that's a good selection of heroes. Um, honestly, I don't really know who is going to be picked. Shadow Fiend is still in the pool. Who? Really nice is his pick. Who's good? Zeus is nice. That's I like cool. Zeus. I think Zeus is strong. I also think Zeus is scary if the if the enemy has Grimstroke. Like you don't want them to also get Zeus and then like mega lightning bolt you the entire game. <laughs> so it's interesting that they actually didn't ban really any combo pieces for the Grimstroke. I, I feel like they already I have enough strong. combo. Right? Like, I feel like Grimstalk and Ogre Magi is enough combo that it's already too late, and you just kind of accept the fact that they will be comboing you. And at that point, just whatever. Just try to get an otherwise good, solid team that can deal with shit. And pig Antimage, probably. But, you know. I'm still dying about the GitHub one. <laughs> the GitHub one is very funny, yeah. I'm dying. I'm... I'm... The KFC one. <laughs> Twitch chat is fuck. Is this a Spork? <laughs> we need a Spork emote in chat. Uh, Can somebody make us a Spork emote? I do actually still have um, chat emote slots open. If you guys give me a spork that I can put into to, into it, like and make into a chat emote right now. Oh, can we make it like three of them next to each other so we can continuously extend it? Yeah. Right? Like like the spork head. And then like um, in between part, and then like the 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 end of it, and then you guys yeah, like, can just continuously hard. extend it forever. Like I do have enough emote slots. How many emote slots do I actually have right now? I have a whole bunch of them, I think. <laughs> Who would win? Yeah, I have <laughs> a five team of game slots. devs coming up with exciting new game name or a spork boy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these guys are really taking their time. Yeah, they're using, using all that reserve time. What was I just doing? Ricky, okay. And then get a Ricky. Right. Uh, I find that questionable. <laughs> I don't like him very much against Grimstroke. Um, I need Photoshop. But you have Photoshop. I do not have Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you literally Coke. have it on your computer. What are you talking about? No, I couldn't use it. Oh, there we go. I'm using the test version, I think. Be yes. Beginning of my series. Okay, let's just move on. Let's, let's, let's actually cast this game. I want to actually cast this game. So can we stop with the distractions, please? Because this oh, is actually the finals. Bank, but... <clears throat> yeah. All right. So Bloodseeker, Bloodseeker is being picked up. We've seen Bloodseeker explode before in tournament. Where yeah, he's, he's just gotten huge. We've seen him be first banned, in fact. Uh, because of his tournament success in the past. Wraith King. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to deal with a... Oh yeah, Wraith King Bloodseeker is an incredible combo, so that's a pretty sensible ban. Mm. 
Yeah, um, also, I do like the Bloodseeker with the Grimstroke again. Like, I don't know, Grimstroke Ultimate is just such a good ability. But I actually think it's even less so about the Ultimate, because you can actually put the E on the, on the Bloodseeker, and since Bloodseeker has such an easy time sticking on top of people, you'll be very, like, you will have an easy time, you know, getting the full stun duration. So, like, that, that will be pretty damn powerful. Bloodseeker is just such a fast hero, very agile, gonna be strong. And uh, well, we're going into the last ban, uh, ban here and then last pick phase. Radiant side probably, probably still needs some sort of like um, big initiator or actually, no, I think they demand like a physical DPS, like somebody who can kill bosses. Um, like Bloodseeker's it, pretty good at killing bosses though. I kind of think that he's going to have that role, so it could go either way. No, but generally you don't want to just rely on a single hero for it. It's, it's true. Yeah, I feel like you would rather have to. And and I feel like they do have a slot for like a Shadow Fiend or Pangolia or TA. I, I think don't think the last they need... slot will be a, like a position two or maybe even a position one above the Bloodseeker. I think they are looking for another core. Yeah. So we'll see who that uh, who ends up being that. I mean, they could also go for an anti mage, although anti mage isn't actually the greatest at killing bosses because it just takes a while to come online. Although I do think yeah. the team is aggressive enough to actually support something like that. It's true. They can make the space. They have great early fighting. Grimstroke is a fantastic early fighter. And mid fighter. And late fighter. He's just a really good hero. Yeah, and all of his abilities are just so good. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking when they made Grimstroke. It's just like, let's make a hero and give him like four abilities that are all inherently overpowered. Great. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, everybody. <laughs> now, I mean, all of his abilities are just absolutely incredible. And if we go into late game, we'll see how the ultimate scales into a really oppressive slow with a very long range. Last pick, 10 seconds on the clock. Viper, I dig it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like it. I like it a lot, mm -hmm. actually. Um, very good silence against uh, the Zeus because there's nothing you can do to prevent it. All around strong pick helps against the the Ricky. You know you can reveal him with it. Um, although it's of course not as not as needed since they do have the the Bloodseeker. And then there's the Medusa. Medusa, yeah, I definitely I, expected a right carry for the last slot. Yeah, but I don't like the Medusa actually. I think Medusa is too reliant on on her split shot to be able to do things, and then like Viper is just gonna break her. That's true. So. All right. You know, something I really like about the Radiant team's drafting is that they kind of boxed in that last pick for the Dire team because they have both a very powerful silence and a very powerful break. So you can't really rely on either active effects or passives. Like, <laughs> you're just going to get disabled <laughs> by BKB. <laughs> Seems we're going to be starting out in just a second, going into the finals. Uh, there's, of course, a prize pool for this. It's not that much. It's 500 bucks, but that's still, you know what? For winning a game or two in a video game, that's still a good amount of money. It's not bad. All right, just waiting for them to be ready and start. I like that they've been going for the minute zero uh, ward stack most games. Just having a support, just spend most of their starting gold on the ward stack just to get those going and get the wards up, get the cooldowns on it ticking. Does only the winning team get money? No, both teams get money, but the winning team gets three times as much. So there's definitely a point to winning. It's going to be 75 bucks for everybody on the winning team and 25 for everybody on the All losing right. team. Carry on. So, let's see how this plays out for us or for them, actually. Cool, 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 cool. Immediate rotation to the bounty runes as expected. We're going to have just uh, the Viper and Grimstroke going up top and then the Centaur and Ogre Magi going into the bottom. The bounty runes are not going to spawn yet. They're going to spawn after the first um, duel. The Larnal team doesn't get a ward stack. 
uh, with their starting goal. Well, it seems they are more prepared to fight then. Oh, yeah. want to make sure they have... Hmm? Are you sure? The witch doctor has one. Um, that's... I switched... Which, I forgot which team was on which side. <laughs> okay. I thought, I, I thought Lionel's team was on Radiant. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Dire, right. yes. So the uh, the Dire team got the words. So oh, nice. They, they got the Undying. That's so important. Hmm. It's the most important kill in these early duels. You, you want to get rid of the Undying so you can't keep spamming the DK. Um, yep, and then they took down the Zeus next. Great prioritization. Yeah, well, Bloodseeker died too, but it seems to me this is going to be a 4... Well, 6-1. Yeah, I mean, you can be pretty happy with that. That's definitely a great outcome. Uh, Vox is just kind of trying to run away by some time, but there isn't really much of a point to it. And um, Kiddo Laser manages to sneak that bounty rune, so that's actually really important. Right, uh, we've got... Wait, what is the distribution here? Yeah, free being picked up yeah, by the dire side. Which Doctor on the retreat, gonna be chased down by Grimstroke and Viper right here, but Zeus is right around the corner. Gonna be fighting into Cyberpunk, who is uh, probably dead, yep. Gonna be sniped out by that Zeus. So, Diasite, they got the Medusa just farming in the base, and then on the other side we have a Bloodseeker, who's playing a bit more aggressively. I actually really like this. Um, I've been wondering about this for a while, whether or not having somebody farming the base is really the best way to go. Because, well, the... Circumstances. Yeah, but what the Bloodseeker can do is you just can't take a lot of these medium camps and then just let the base stack up and come in later and clean it all up. Because yeah, the base exactly. is the one area where you can kind of be safe or like kind of assume that the enemy isn't going to come in and snipe it. All right, they're fighting over the bounty runes again, and uh, oh, anti stealing that one from the ogre magi. Yet again, Super four test bounty runes. Test. Oh, that was four for yeah, four Team for Arnold. radiant, and uh, you will be able to tell, right? Like the levels, they are all just ahead on levels already. Like again, these bounty runes do really, really make a difference. It is actually very important. I think also the fact that the dire team isn't clearing medium camps as effectively, or the radiant team isn't clearing as effectively as the dire team is. Yeah, they do have the bloodseeker though. Bloodseeker is uh, starting to get there. Oh, although now he's starting to farm up the <laughs> kiddo laser. What is this Ricky doing? He's trying to kill the bloodseeker. He's just gonna die for it. Yeah. Gets a free kill right there. High ground, high ground. Uh, the offside's defense it does damage to you from the nearest hero, so it does actually feed them kills if you die yeah. off sides. Um, that is intentional. Well, Bloodseeker's just farming up on the other side. You've got the Medusa, and she's also just doing her thing. Medusa, of course, uh, a bit of a slower hero, but if you get her going, she becomes very, very powerful. Um, she doesn't have any crazy support in this match, but she doesn't really need it either. Like, she works fine on her own. Oh, nice. Are you guys still just posting memes? Are you surprised yes. by this notion? <laughs> you need to have one look at the one they're putting in the thinking model general chat. <laughs> Radiant team still doesn't have a ward stack. So the, the only vision they have are poop wards. Oh, man. Yeah, guys, I'm trying. We can't just talk about memes the entire game, but I want to actually, you know, give this some legitimacy. Today's tournament has been a little bit of a disaster, but it has still been a goddamn tournament. We're going to treat this as such. And this set's going to be good. Yes. Lionel <laughs> gets the kill, and then they get one-two punched by the boss. <laughs> All right, Santa War Runner, kind of just uh, cruising around the place. We're gonna go into the capture points. This is, of course, the first very important play of the game. Um, Radiant side yeah, so far not really making much of an effort to go for theirs. They're just taking this very casually. And there we go. Ekla is now gonna be sitting on top of the capture point. Uh, Dia will get theirs a little bit sooner. I'm not sure if that means they'll contest the uh, the uh, Radiance, but they could.
Ricky coming in. Yeah, it's broken up, but he'll be fine. Yeah, it looks like uh, I don't think either team are in a position where they can contest the other team's capture points right now. Yeah, these first uh, capture points are very, very difficult to contest. Um, it's really only something you can do if you're feeling like you're very far ahead. It's risky <laughs> because this early on the respawns are so short. Of course, the capture points are always closer to their base, so they can just keep coming in with reinforcements. It's a hard fight. Yep, the hero levels are evening out a little bit. I guess not really evening out as much as the Bloodseeker is just catching up. Um, second highest level in the game now. Oh, Ricky manages to steal a pretty significant creep from the Bloodseeker right there. So Started they've been using this Ricky. Grab a corner creep. Yeah, they've been using this Ricky pretty much as a support, like only as a support. He's got himself Tranquil Boots as well. And oh, nice. Ekla actually finds him, but Ricky is three levels ahead. You know, it'll be a hard one. And Kiddo Liza yet again just, gets just him. Just takes the bounty run and runs away. Doesn't care. Doesn't want to fight. It's not his objective there. No, no. And I mean, you got to know your objectives. Like, and honestly, like these bounty yeah. runes are working out so well for them. Like what bounty runes do is they don't, they don't help the, the, the Medusa and the Bloodseeker really, right? Like those are both level 11. They, they're pretty even across the board, I would say. You know, both have some items. They're actually picking up their items at the exact same pace. Like going for that uh, big Daedalus first, right? Um, but the big difference comes in in the, the supports and the brawlers of the team. We are on the radiant side, you're level five and four, and on the dire side, you're level seven and eight. That's the issue. Yeah. Because the, those the sprawling supporters are so important, but also if all they do is fight, it's so easy for them to just fall ridiculously far behind. Bounty runes, boots, stuff like that, all help. You gotta stick to your carry every once in a while. And Get some medium camps. Oh, but. Let's hear almost like three shot the witch doctor. Ah, he gets the witch doctor right there. He's gonna die though. Yeah, there he goes. Yep. The cloud is just uh, a hassle. <laughs> oh, oh, there wow. goes the centaur. They get a nice silence on the Ricky and the uh, Undying, but it's not gonna be enough. It's funny, Radiant Side is actually still ahead on kills, but. Yeah. They are just not keeping up in gold and experience. That's really the important part here. So it'll be interesting to see how the bossing phase, the, the tier one bosses go once we get into that phase of the game. Um, <laughs> it's a ward just barely out of range of the sentry that just got dropped down. Ogre trying to de ward a bit. No? Oh. <laughs> Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, just, just one attack and that uh, Ricky Maru basically disappeared. That was crazy. And Supreme is now going for the Diffuser Blade into the Butterfly, I, I assume. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's on the Bloodseeker. Yep, makes sense. All right, well, we have another little pause here. We've got an early MKB coming out on the Viper as well. And something, uh, we have Trankles on pretty much all of the supports. Tranks are great on supports. Uh, being able to steal enemy corner camps is just a fantastic feature of the Tranks. That, that utility function of them helps so much. Especially for getting levels, because corner camps give so much XP too. Yeah. It's very little time investment. It's a great play for supports to do to buy train. I do that a lot on a lot of the supports. Yeah. A lot of times you can upgrade them into the other boots as well. Just utilize them for those levels early on, almost like a Midas. A ago, I loved oh, Blatzika runs forward. I'm going to add everyone in the Open Angel Discords and MNI Discords. Okay. For the, um, for the spark. Milkshake will be very upset that you dare do that. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. It, you it's should like... add Milkshake as well. Yeah, add everyone at Milkshake. That's the proper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, milkshake. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, yeah, no, that's how like, we do it. Like, when we add everyone, we also add Milkshake. Like, yes. 
That's exact. I mean to do this. This is exactly perfect. right. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly I mean how it should go. Do this. Yeah, I'm doing this on purpose, and you can't stop me. You did it all for the sport. There's a cask bouncing into the stool. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of a big deal. It actually can be like pretty impactful. Where's it coming from? Oh, there like it is. The bottom half of the map. Oh, okay. Well, we got the fight going on here. Oh crap. Witch oh, doctor no. still standing. Santo right on top of him. Oh, this oh, is no. not gonna go well. Oh no, I fucked up, guys. What? Why? What's up? I accidentally sent a link just to delete the it. Bottle Discord. <laughs> you can just delete up. Oh, well. I deleted. I deleted it. It's fine. It's well, now we gotta kick all of the people from the Thinking Bottle Discord that are in here that shouldn't be in there. Have fun. Oh, oh bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> All right. I deleted her invite, so even people who stole the link. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. At everyone with the wrong link. <laughs> I don't have in I don't have admin privileges. I can't kick anyone. Oh, I'll, I'll kick them. There's only like three. Thank you. Right. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at my job. <laughs> Yes, uh, we are kind of playing a game here, can we, or like casting, I, I really want to like actually focus on the game because this is the finals. Yes. Yeah, okay. Can we, should we actually just go into a call? That's probably a good idea, let's do that. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, there we go. Alright, back All right. to the game. We can actually concentrate on the game now. Uh, they're just kind of fighting it out again. Oh, nice. Oh, God. Bloodseeker. <laughs> he just Bloodseeker disappeared. Right now. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, this is... The network is a lot more evenly for. spread out than the levels are. Which is good to see. Oh, well, they actually managed to win that fight. That's really good. I guess shows they're still in, in it. Like, absolutely still in it. Yeah, I would say that the Radiant team has the advantage of their team being better at this phase of the game. Yeah, they can probably fight better right now. It's just they have a more, yeah, yeah lineup that's more suited to this current point mm -hmm. in time. Although they yeah. really need some levels on these supports. They really do, yes. Now, the nice thing about the way the bounty runes work is that, you know, like if you pick them up later, they'll actually also help you catch up because, you know, they scale with time. So you'll be able to kind of come back into this. But the fact that Grimstalk is level 11 and uh, the Witch Doctor is level 17, that's to me the the biggest worry if you're the Radiant side. Oh, okay, there's a big ultimate from the Ricky, but there's just not really any sort of yeah. follow-up. And he disappears. I think the best they could hope for was killing Cyberpunk, who was very low. Um, yeah. That was the best possible thing they could hope for in that scenario. Um, okay, so both teams going for some tier 1 bosses. Uh, I mean, you gotta. Keeping it close, yeah. It, it, they're probably going to end up fighting over this center bottom tier 1. Because um, th that's usually the next rotation from where both of them are. The Radiant team going for it. Dire team actually is going to go for a different objective. I think maybe they're going to just let them have that one and then try to secure all three north, maybe? I don't know. It seems like they're positioning around the center area. I'm not sure if they know what they're trying to do right now. They seem a little bit unsure. They're actually going to go top. Go for their own own bosses. Not really contest this one. Of course, Bloodseeker is around. And if there are some uh, significant boss hits that come out, then that might be a problem. Oh, Ooh, they're going in. Like a fight. Nice stun. Oh, the silence follow up. That's going to take the Undying out of the fight for a while, but Butziger's dead. Ooh, that didn't go well. <laughs> yeah, that right there was an example of don't run into the Medusa ultimate. It hurts. Yeah, I mean, the level 25 Medusa with almost twice your net worth just sitting in the center screaming with a BKB active. Like, What are you, you going to do? Yeah, I mean, they do have a little bit of something they can do. I mean, she doesn't have a, a Lincoln, so you can just kind of rupture her. Maybe drop that uh, Viper ultimate, but I don't know. 
Maipo also going for a more damage based build, which I actually find a little bit questionable here. I don't, I don't know if they need that per se. Maipo does a lot of damage just naturally. It doesn't mean you need to build a lot of damage item as well. Great Grimstroke ultimate. Getting the yeah. long stun on two heroes. Oh, look at that! Blood really Seeker. big fight for the Radiant team. Good. They really, really needed this. So with this boss secured, um, it means they're going to go even in the tier 1 bosses. Which is fantastic because they, they kind of lo lost the initial farming phase. And if you look at the net worth now, they're actually ahead. Um, they've they've been ahead in kills the whole time, but they definitely weren't ahead during the early phases of the game. So this is a little bit of a comeback happening. Ooh, but Equinox <laughs> gets cut out. All right, next capture points are online. Same tour, blinks in, goes for BKB's actor. Gonna chase down Vox. Vox goes down. Mr. Random still standing. He will... Be taking down the Bloodseeker right here. The survivability from the Medusa seems to be like just about the point where the Bloodseeker just cannot kill her quickly enough. And it gets pretty close. He manages to burn her out of all of her mana, but then then it's just not enough. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. Uh, he's continuing to build more. Uh, I don't know actually. Like the Scotty is probably going to be a Kofefe, I assume. Or oh, Blade of Judica, excuse me. <laughs> Wiper, um, Dragon Lord. Okay. went down south to try to disrupt the capture point, but Box was able to push him away just on his own. Seems like neither team are gonna try to mess with each other's capture point. These are this is a pretty defensible one when it's on like the, the north and south high ground like that, they're super duper hard to contest. Yeah, definitely. And that's just something where both teams will have a difficult time fighting into them, and it's just probably not worth it. Especially in a game that is close like this one. You can see the Radiant side is also starting to catch up in levels a little bit. But they are still behind. I feel like that's still the biggest biggest point of worry. Because like in terms of money, they are really doing fine. Like they actually everybody here is doing just fine. It's only the the levels uh, that aren't quite even yet. And on some heroes, like an Ogre Magi, uh, level 18 Ogre Magi, level 20 Ogre Magi, that that does help a lot. Like 20 additional attack speed for the Bloodseeker goes a long way. Uh, yeah. 40 additional, sorry, not just 20. Yeah, you gotta get levels on your supports. Um, it's super duper important to stay in the game. I feel like they're mostly just relying on the Tranks effect on corner creeps to get all the levels for their supports. They are able to kill these tier 2s very, very quickly. I mean, Scrim just does so much damage that as long as he's not being stunned and focused down by an enemy team, he's just melting anything right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he hits hella hard. Actually going for an Abyssal Blade. Uh, not keeping the Scotty. Gonna pick up the Abyssal Blade at level 3. I so think that's reasonable. Abyssal Blade's great. Oh yeah, I mean, I like it a lot as well, you know. Um, especially because you're like Medusa. Medusa, she did go for the... Um, Oh, actually, Mask of Manus. I was going to say she had a Satanic, but now we're going for Mask of Manus now. Okay, well, against Mask of Manus, it works perfectly fine too, right? Like, because she activates Mask of Manus, she wants to be attacking during that time. You stun her, you hit her, it's not going to work out that well for her. <laughs> it's funny that she's got a Mask of Manus. I haven't seen too many of those. I've seen... It's funny because I think the only hero I have seen it on is Medusa. Yeah, probably. Like, I have seen it on Medusa before as well, but really only on her. Ooh. And there he goes. All right, we're going to go into another duel. No. Undying just jumps in. Actually, mission. Oh! Stun him! No, he gets bashed! Stun him! Ah, that's needed. Bloodseeker just runs in, rushes them down. Damn, he does so much damage. Santa Warrunner had a, an absolute beautiful start to that fight. Didn't quite get the follow-up that he wanted, but it, it wasn't really a problem. Grimstroke with the Ogre Magi to get him. That's really all you need here. Oh, Viper. Yeah, they've got a lot of disable because of it. Um, I think the Grimstroke pick is definitely working out this game, at least so far. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, we're about to hit level 25 on a lot of these support heroes, right? So, uh, especially on Radiant, that's going to be a big power burst. With Grimstroke, of course, you want to get the 200 Inkswell radius. It's very important, very helpful. Um, you've got the Ogre Magi. 
Now we've got the 275 bonus damage on the Fire Blast. That, <laughs> that's quite a bit. Like, that's actually a very significant amount and it helps a lot. And um, Wiper, of course, with the level 25, the Wiper Strike starts silencing. Like, these are all very powerful abilities that will go a long way. Absolutely. Witch Doctor is going to get his level 25 very, very soon. Oh no, that's going to be scary. So, one of the recent patches for OA was all about modifying the talents and making the talents be... Um, like, for heroes that don't have... You know, that have some talents that are mostly garbage, frankly speaking. Yeah, because we're damage. All right, um, we, we added them up. Uh, we we uh, we buffed them up a little bit. So, Witch Doctor used to have a talent that gave his Death Ward 75 bonus damage. Uh, he gets a little bit more now. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Um, this, of course, makes his ultimate very powerful. But, well, he's not the only one with a powerful ultimate. In fact, most people do have one of those. Oh, oh, the ogre, the ogre, the ogre. Wait, they killed the plot seeker. Oh. Then the ogre killed the witch doctor. <laughs> oh, no, the ogre. He's getting so many kills. <laughs> oh, man. This ogre has the spiders. shit under control. There's even spiders coming in. Okay. Supreme gonna come in here. Gonna chase down Anti. I mean, it should be a pretty easy kill, although the blade mail is turning out to be a problem and he gets melted. The return walls are right around the corner. Wow. I clear, uh... But not some serious damage there. But here comes the Medusa scream. Ooh, they disarm her for like yeah. the whole scream though. That's fantastic. It's not gonna be enough though. Mr. Random is just starting to actually deal a lot of damage here. And yeah. upgraded Tombstone. Scotty. It's just Tombstone, Tombstone, Tombstone. These uh, zombies are just such an annoyance. Um, they they block your movement, they slow you down. They don't really do that much damage, but that doesn't make them any less powerful. Centaur now closing in on level 25 as well. I'm actually wondering what he's going to go for. Centaur plus one second smooth storm duration or gain, gaining the, returns aura, uh, the return aura. I think they're both really valid choices. Um, yeah, especially against Medusa. Yeah, like she'll be attacking multiple targets at once, right? So return from all of those targets, that's going to hurt. Bloodseeker now finishing up a blood in here. Oh, maxing it out right away as well. So Supreme is uh, just going all in on damage. Right, this is just a, a Bloodseeker that is here to beat some people up and get some kills. That's what yep. he cares about. Which I think also makes the ward damage talent um, over the percentage heal talent for the Wish Doctor make all that much more sense. Oh, uh, yeah. He has the capacity to just burst down the Bloodseeker. I mean, he's the cap capacity to burst down the entire team. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, he's got an Agonist uh, as well, you know, he got the four bounces, death ward, it's got true strike, he can't do anything to dodge it. That's gonna uh, in in a good moment, that's gonna win the team fight. And he's got the BKB to try to get him in that moment too. Uh I really hope to see a big play like that. Um he's he's at a big power spike for that hero right now. That hero is very, very strong at the level twenty-five to low thirties phase. When when a lot of other heroes are noticeably weaker also. Yeah, Witch Doctor is just going to go out and uh, de a little bit. Everybody's just using the Void Stack. And actually, of course, you've got the Zeus on top of that. It's helping out a lot as well. Oh, uh, Radiant Side attempting a Lycan. Walks coming in. Oh, nice silence. Going to zone him out. And actually, Larinol gets hit by it for some reason. Just kind of sits there. Witch Doctor, ultimate. Ooh, Grimstroke goes not quite down. Ooh, he can take it. Oh, he can take it. Centaur, standing in the middle here. He's uh, trying to get some stuns out. They're going to be able to burst down the Zeus with the help from uh, Ogre Magi. Uh, but Lycan now... in the back is giving Medusa a really hard time. Oh yeah, this Lycan is getting involved. He he uh, wants to be part of this fight. Radiant side, however, seems to no longer be part of it. They're all dead, all taken out. And actually, you saw the power of the Witch Doctor in that fight. Witch Doctor comes out alive somehow. Makes it out. Yeah. Yeah, they, they managed to tank the ultimate a lot better than I thought it would be. 
Yeah, it was in a bit of an awkward position, and the Grimstroke does have um, a regeneration crystal, and actually quite tanky in general, Soul Cross as well. You know, the Void Stack on top of that, this Grimstroke can definitely take some damage. Honestly, uh, he should try to aim down the Bloodseeker with the ultimate. I feel like the Bloodseeker is the, the hero that really got the least protection from it. Especially when he activates the Blood Rage. You know, that effectively reduces all of his survivability by 25%. Yeah, the Bloodseeker can definitely just be burst down and destroyed, but he also can do that to almost any other member of the Dire team. Just burst down and destroy them. I think a lot of these fights are going to come down to the supports and who gets disabled and burst down first because both teams have a lot of damage. All right, well, while we're in the number pause, everybody go Reveal. follow Spark MOBA on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Go to the Spark Discord. Yes. This is this is what standalone is called. It's called Spark, which I think is a good name. Chat, what do you think actually? What do you guys think? Is Spark a good name? Push one if you think it's a good name. Push two if you don't like it. I just want to see what you guys think. Okay, don't don't say two just because you want us to call it Spork. <laughs> That's not a valid response. I'm looking for genuine. Like your genuine feedback. Okay, let's try this again. Push one if you, on a serious note, all right? Push one if you like the name Spark. Push two if you don't like the name Spark. All right? Don't just push two because you would rather the game be called Spork. And uh, quite frankly, if you'd rather the game be called Spork, then you kind of like the name because it enables the meme. If we called it something True. else, you wouldn't have Spork memes. So if you like Spork, really you also like Spark, so your, your vote should be one. <laughs> That is true. Oh, wow. Look at that Bloodseeker. Holy hell, he attacks so quickly. And very hard. Even the projectiles of the eggs, though, do so much damage to him. Yeah, he just has no survivability. Like, this Bloodseeker in these fights is literally just a BKB duration away from death. That's how long he can survive. That's how long he can stay in the fights. I guess Sento War Runner with Aghanims helps out a little bit as well. You know, 40% damage reduction definitely yeah. definitely is not bad, but it's it's not enough to um, make up for the loss in HP from the Q. I really like this meme. It's Spock with an orc face. <laughs> That's, there's layers, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting over the capture points. Oh, look at that Bloodseeker. Holy shit. Laranol is just... Laranol is just trying to get away, but you're getting rushed down by this monster. He's so fast. <sighs> and, and then loops back around to kill the undying after his yeah. first spot. Wow. That's just scary. And I mean, that's the build, you know? You have to lock him down and burst him down, or he'll just do that to your team. He'll just A-click through your team. Okay, both teams get their capture points. Um, game remains pretty close. Um, it, it really, honestly, it's just extremely close. I think it just comes so, down to who wins these fights. Can I just point something out that Supreme is doing? He, he did the same thing on his Shadow Fiend last game. He's got his ultimate at level 1, and he's saving skill points so he can max out all of his basic abilities at level 40. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That... I've seen people skip one ability in favor of the other two, but yeah. I've never seen skipping an ultimate in favor of all three. That's... Like, so his That's ultimate, this is why Rupture has not been that effective, because his ultimate is at level 1. It just doesn't actually do anything. It's a completely worthless ability. At the same time, all of his other stuff is actually not more powerful right now than it would be, but in one more level, it will be. <gasps> Ooh, Larno takes down Bloodseeker there, though. Mm, I mean, that's the power of the Zeus. He does damage. 
Yeah, well, Larn was just trying, or the Bloodseeker was trying to disengage from the Screaming Medusa, and Larn just burst him down while he was running. That's great. And, uh, yep. They get another kill right there. It's the second duel going on in which an Undying is slowly being pummeled to death. <laughs> Alright, Vox, go for it. Fight. I'm still just waiting for these Witch Doctor ultimates. Ah, oh, it's on cooldown right now. Yeah, you see during the duel, the Bloodseeker got a really good bash to stop the channel. Ah, that's Otherwise, it probably would have been pretty rough. Yeah, he hasn't really been able to get off uh, a lot of very powerful ultimates, I feel. So, looking forward to seeing a little bit more there. And rip Looks like they're going to keep trying to contest this boss. Of course, if Larnell can do that, I don't see why you wouldn't. You just kill these people. I like that the team could have finished off the Undying there, and instead they save it for the Bloodseeker, so that way he can heal up on the kill. And they get rid of the Tombstone as well. There are just so many summons coming out from the Dire side with the Tombstone, with the... Um, with the... what's it called? The Nimbus Cloud. Uh, that's a lot of stuff <laughs> that you have to deal with. Plus all the spiders that were marching down. Oh from yeah, the boss. too. <laughs> I mean, those are the scariest ones. Those are easily do the most damage. Alright, Supreme is almost level 40. And level 40 is really when he's gonna go mega nutty. I mean, that's what he's saving. So oh, Witch Doctor, let's go! Oh, they they still get they it, though. They just tanked it and they stayed on the point. That was the right thing to do there. They get the... That was, that was super well played. Yeah. That was the right move to die. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and uh, try to take in our boss. Of course, with Witch Doctor, that should be relatively simple to do. And uh, down goes Lucius Longclaw. A lot of damage. So both teams are able to continue to secure bosses, making sure that they're getting a, a plenty of each tier. It's looking like uh, transitioning to the late game phase. It's pretty even. Alright. Yeah, Supreme now level 40, so he actually has his build online, I guess. Like, this is what he was going for. I don't know how much I like this. Actually, I do know how much I like this. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, Rupture is not a bad ability. It does do quite a bit of damage. I feel like completely ignoring it like this is just... I'm I'm not sure if the benefit gained from like a little bit more blood raid or, you know, first is really worth it. Doesn't seem yeah. like it to me. Well, it belongs winning tournaments then. This will come back to you. Or I guess it repeatedly coming in second. <laughs> it's more with his teams. Mo is. Oh. Witch Doctor? Yeah. Oh no, he runs away. Yeah, he's gonna run. Uh, he knows. He knows he had to. He was just gonna get a Bristle Blade double buys, but it's still disappointing. I wanted to see some more of that ultimate. I get themselves the same tour. Medusa still just standing and fighting, and I mean she's good at it. Medusa almost went down to the Viper there, though. She got real low for a second. Yeah, this is still so close. Look at that. 76 to 75. Yeah. Man, these two teams, how are they always just... <laughs> they just kind of know what they're about here. Yeah, and they're just good at the game, so they keep up. They don't, uh, you know, fall behind and then let the NEP team just snowball them. They're, they're great at maintaining their position in the game and making sure that they can keep fighting. And here oh. they come to all try to flood in capital point. You gotta get in there now. You gotta get in there. Oh, Sandro got it. God, God, yes. he gets it. Oh, oh, God, keep him stunned. Keep him stunned. This is awesome. They really have the Medusa locked down. Just sitting there with almost no health. Not Don't give the, the point. Out, but here they, oh, there she goes. Oh, Sandro just almost left the point. Stay on top of that, my boy. Nice, good stun, good stun, good stun. This is the power of Grimstroke, but they're getting sewn up by all of these zombies. There's so many zombies. And Larinol's back! Larnal's the damage back. is here! Oh. 
Yeah, I don't think that the Centaur can hold this oh. on his own at all. Y yeah. Oof, yeah, not quite. I was going to say, it needs a few more seconds, but you just didn't have him. The Bloodseeker was TPing in, ready to try to help, but they managed to get it. Just wasn't quite enough. Good attempt, so, though. So who do you think wins this game? Oh, I feel like that really just comes down to, like, how the, the, the final duel wins. I wouldn't even be surprised if both of them get the final duel at the same time. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some overtime. Like, I think this is this is really just gonna be a final duel kind of match, and, and in those it always is just you know moment to moment who gets the single like who gets the better team fight when it counts. Yeah, I think I think here I put my money on Dire Team, um, and and I think the largest reason for that is I think their team is more resilient to mistakes. If they screw up early on in a fight. Most of the heroes are tanky enough to, you know, pop it right after and then still get their stuff off. Where I think the Radiant team has this flaw of they basically need to team fight perfectly, or the Bloodseeker dies and their team doesn't do damage anymore. Yeah. No, that's definitely a problem with their team. Like, if they lose the Bloodseeker, they don't have much else. Yeah. Um, I guess the Viper is starting to do a lot of damage as well, but not enough to compete with the Medusa. It's just. At the same time, I do feel like the Radiant side has a, a bit more dream potential. You know, you add in a Grimstroke with a good old Soulbind, you can like double silence people through it or stun them with the Fire Blast. Yeah, I think they have better lockdown, which I think they definitely need against this tanky team because you got to keep them locked down. <laughs> so you kill them. It takes time, especially the tanky, beefy Medusa. No, it's just going to go ahead and take down the Roshan in the base. So both teams just kind of prioritizing getting bosses. I mean, that's not a bad idea by any means. <laughs> it's very yeah, I think reasonable. Both teams, both teams are definitely thinking about final duels and stuff at this point. You know, they're trying to finish up their items, get their last of their carries, six slotted, so on and so forth. I do want to point out really quick that the Saint did actually go for the Return Aura earlier. Now, of course, he's got both of the level 5 Aghanims, but... Did go for the return aura. That was his priority. I do like that. I think the return aura is a it's fun a ability. I'm still not entirely sure how it actually works. Like whose strength it uses? Or? Yeah. Does it use the centaur strength for the target that it, the return aura is on? I think it uses the centaur strength. strength. But yeah. I'm not sure. Gonna go ahead and uh, get ourselves the Oriel. Bloodseeker. Um, oh, finishing up an Abyssal Blade. Not just casual Abyssal Blade, like no Blade of Judeca coming out. No, I don't really like the butterfly here. I feel like that's something he could think about replacing. Or maybe build it into the Diffuser Blade. Because um, Diffuser Blade does actually just have um, perfectly fine stats. It doesn't give quite as much attack speed, but it does give you the additional damage from the Mana Break. And Mana Break, of course, is great against Medusa. And Medusa has MKB anyway. You know, it won't help against Witch Doctor. Big fight here. Oh, look at that! Look at it go! Oh, he gets him! Gets another one, the Bloodseeker comes in, he just takes three hits and gets melted. Nah, Disappear. Medusa does end up dying, but I feel like... Oh no, 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 they get him, they get him, the Ogre Magi is still standing here, he still has some stunts in him. Having a hard time using it, but he does still have some stunts in him. Oh, now it's just Ogre against Witch Doctor and Undying. And he's dropping. Which Doctor also being level, uh, or having the level 5 Aghanims now, means of course the healing from his W is through the roof. Yeah, and they get themselves another kill. I'm gonna go ahead and just take down this boss really quick. Um, so this is a tier 5 boss. Tier 5 bosses are actually worth 2 points. So they can use that to kind of um, accelerate towards that final duel fast. And I feel like they should really try to push for that.
and dying with the refresher. That's refresh or refresh reincarnation? I am not entirely sure. I think Chris Internet? crashed. Oh, hello. Hey, I'm back. Are you back? That's good. I was wondering where you had gone. My internet broke. That's okay. It happens. All right. How's, how's the game going? Well, uh, Radiant Side is uh, falling a little bit behind, it seems to me. Not by much, but just a tiny little bit. We've got some more capture points coming up. So this next capture point is actually worth quite a few points. Uh, it's four points, um, which of course goes quite a way towards the 100 you need. Which Doctor also picking up that our five Aghanims, I think it's going to really matter in terms of the Oh, he's coming in, keeping that Undying alive. Nice, they got that double uh, double link up, and there's the ultimate. It's it's bouncing, it does a lot of damage. Ooh, that's gonna be enough, yeah. They take down the Centaur, they take down the Viper. Chasing down Grimstroke. Grimstroke will fall. So all around, a bunch more kills, and now they just actually have to get that capture point. If they, if they just get the capture point, they will force a final duel here. And that is going to be very favored for the diet side. Great moment for them. So the way capture points work, um, every consecutive capture point is worth one additional uh, point for the final score. Right, so the first one is only worth one point, second one is worth two, third is worth three, and so on. This is the four point this is the four capture point? point? Yes, yeah. yeah, the four point. So uh, when Dyer caps this one, actually, they'll, they'll trigger a final duel. Yep, so. that's that's exactly why I think they should prioritize it, and they just put the Undying on it. Um, and yeah, they'll they'll get themselves a final duel right here. I mean, that's of course very important. Medusa actually uh, dropping the Mask of Madness here. Interesting. Mister Random deciding that no no no, you know what? I feel like this might be a bit risky. Let's just make sure we have more, some more survivability. Especially, I like this because um, the Bloodseeker doesn't actually have a uh, Blade of Judeca. He went for a Bristle Blade. Mm, yep, good point. Oh, Undying, gonna be silenced up. They go for the Medusa. Medusa is taking so much damage, but there's the Witch Doctor Ultimate Supreme goes down. They get him. Vox just cutting through him with that big bouncing Ultimate. And they get themselves to win. Darinal. Yep. Pops the satanic, a clicks through the team. Once the Bloodseeker's gotten the Medusa, doesn't really have to be afraid of anything. Laronel plus four. Win game one. And uh, oh, one game away from taking the tournament. The second in a row. <laughs> it's true. They're going for the, the, the repeat. repeat. All right. Well... They'll be starting game up in just a second. I will grab some food really quick. One All second. Right. Take a look at the memes. Very important. For keeping it straight, the premium will have a press in day. Ooh, nice. I really like this MS Paint meme by uh, Cyan by T TXT. That's, that's a good shirt. <clears throat> to find Spork. Oh, I'm really excited for game two. It's going to be awesome. That first game was really, really fun. Really enjoyed that. I wonder, wonder if we'll see any like wacky picks from... Larnell plus four, now that they're up one game. If they want to risk anything and do anything weird, but I suspect it'll probably be more of their really standard. Hello. Oh yeah, I forgot it's always my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Chris. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> are they going straight into the next game or are they taking a break or what? 
Um, it looks like they're going straight into it because they're in a game. So, um, I'm, I'm I'm guessing. All right. There used to be another emote that was my name spelled wrong with an H in the middle randomly. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Every every day's your birthday when you're in a jar. That's what they say. It's the old phrase. That old phrase that they all say about birthdays in jars. <laughs> Are you scrolling through the meme channel? I am scrolling through <laughs> the meme channel. <laughs> <laughs> How did so many memes already? <laughs> I know, right? The spark emote in suggestions and feedback. It's like actually very stylistic. It's, it's fancy. I feel like when it's really small, though, the nubby parts might not be as visible although I, I like your idea better of the the long one the yeah no piece. that wouldn't be it that wouldn't work for any mod it's too small yeah the three piece is uh only cool hey thank you void moon <clears throat> okay Wait for them to load. Loading plus delay things. All right, they're in team select. Okay. Right. And they're off. So, <clears throat> Supreme and Co. gonna stay on first pick here. Radiant on one side, Dire yep. on the other. Team way to death. Won the coin toss and then lost the first game, so sticking with their Radiant slot. Let's see if they can manage to bring it to a game three. I wonder what they ban here. Both teams definitely really, really favor supports during the drafting phase, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see them ban out some of the supports from the previous game. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of them. No, I mean, Ricky was absolutely played purely as a support. Yeah, I guess. Like, honestly, he was just there to throw down smoke clouds. That's all he did. He didn't do any damage. <laughs> if I am invisible and I drop smoke clouds, my name's Ricky. I mean, admittedly, smoke cloud has, like, four-second cooldown for some reason. So It's great, yeah. Um, Dazzle being banned out. I mean, that's not too surprising. Lich as well. Lich banned. They're not allowed, about to let that go through. Lich is just too impactful. No, I feel like we really did something right here. If, like, all, all bans and first picks are all the supports. You know, that's a like, good switch here. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit yeah. Breakers. I'm actually really surprised that Spirit Breakers is still such a high priority. I, I, I don't feel he's that crazy powerful, but I guess. He's really good. He is good. Like, absolutely he's yeah. good. I just... Yeah, I'm just surprised that people still value him this much. Um, undying, okay. That is not surprising. I feel like that was actually where I was going when you said, you know, supports should be banned out from the last match. And I feel like Undying was really the one that had the biggest impact. I, 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 that hero is still just really good. We didn't actually nerf Undying. I, I did not nerf Undying. I don't think First so. First pick AA. We just can't get them to stop picking yeah, AA. How do we get we people to stop so picking hard. this guy? We, we have nerfed him so many times and we've never buffed him. 
How do we get people to stop picking this hero? He's been center of the meta every tournament we've ever held. I think it's just because OEA has a tank meta, and he's kind of a tank breaker. Yeah, that's what he's good at. Yeah. I don't know. Kunkka. Love Kunkka. It's so, so good. God, he's such a good hero. Yeah. I mean, there's just, just a lot like of value broken. there. He's so good. He's actually one of the few heroes as well that deals uh, with Ancient Aversion's ultimate. Because uh, he doesn't actually heal. He just prevents damage, which is a good way of dealing with it. So, some good solid defensive utility there. Which That's Doctor, true. however, it's... doesn't. Uh, Wish Doctor. In fact, the AA a lot of times is considered a counter to Witch Doctor because Witch yeah. Doctor with that spread heal. Although, of course, that was back when Witch Doctor was dominantly picked for the heal. Yeah, now he's which, picked for the ultimate. Let's go. Yeah, he's picked for the ultimate. The ultimate's way better now, so you don't get that really, really strong heal until extraordinarily late game. Um, I think the only exception to that is if you also wanted to be the boss tank, in which case it's okay to grab the healing one. But if you're if you're a fighting witch doctor, which playing witch doctor you should probably be fighting, you pretty much always want that damage talent. Ogremajai, I think he's been really, really impactful this tournament. Yeah. No, um, I I, uh, I like Ogremaja a lot as well. Uh, he's great at enabling carries, and then he also mm -hmm. just fights well on his own. I feel like the Grimstroke definitely didn't have too much of an impact last match, which was a little bit disappointing, so I would be surprised if we see him again. Centaur being banned out, though, that makes a lot of sense. He was very powerful. Hi, yeah. Balmy. Grimstroke was I am super good. I don't think he was spark. insanely impactful. Yeah. Hey, thanks, um, Raven. He definitely was good. Yeah, no, Grimstroke is strong. Um, how do you deal with the Witch Doctor? Like, because that guy was scary, right? I mean, so what do you do about it? There gotta be something you can do about it. Um, well, you have to you you have to be able to interrupt his channel. You know, you have to yeah. be able to interrupt the ultimate. You can't let him just channel that ultimate. And then I think also, Witch Doctor is a pretty good early fighter, but most of the classic supports in OAA are better early fighters than he is. Um, he's more of like a combo piece when it comes to the early fighting, I think, because of his Maledict. It's basically yeah. what he's used for in the, the early game, that, that damage that you can get out with that. Well, he also got like... other bursty heroes. The Cask is good as well, but I feel like Cask is better if you don't have that combo piece. With well, actually, you, I don't think he's incredibly strong in the earliest phase. No, Not in the earliest phase, but I really like him once you get to like level 10 around there. Because he actually has the 75 damage talent at level 10. That's true. That does. <laughs> that that, does that, that really helps. Like, that is a very powerful talent that early on. But, like, when I look at him next to heroes like Shadow Shaman, um, you know, his early game fighting power just isn't, isn't quite as much there. So, I think, I feel like against the Witch Doctor, you, you see the Witch Doctor pick, you pick really aggressive, really good fighting supports, and you just, box him out and keep him low level you know when you win those early game fights the people that are affected the most are always the enemy carries we saw that last game where or they're not the enemy carries the enemy supports where the supports on one team were like two maybe three whole levels ahead of the other team because supports just have to keep fighting and you know if you don't get those boundary runes and you don't win those fights oh you pick things Vida clings would work really well because that's true just blow him up just kill him yeah or the ultimate doesn't actually get through clings as Q Oh, yeah, that's true. It completely avoids it. Yeah, it's not evasion um, for some reason. Yeah. And I think no matter what, you someone needs to build a Crimson Guard. It's skill Oh, yeah, good. Crimson Guard. That's your favorite item. It is very good, I'm, though. I've been so into it lately. I'm such a big Crimson Guard fan. Lately, almost every hero I play, like regardless of who it is, I've been building a Crimson Guard and a um, Halberd. They're just such good items i i almost can't imagine playing oa without them at this point and drums <laughs> i buy them all <laughs> every hero <laughs> all right well they're taking the time with the next pick here gonna be pangolier nice like nice. it i was wondering when we would see a pangolier pangolier was great it can be played a few different ways in the early game depending if you want to go for fighting centric or farming centric it's also great for like level one duel. You, you know, A A E and then Pangalia Q. It's like three hundred burst damage. Oh, yeah, that's a great little combo right there. I didn't think about that. 
So. Cool. So yeah, we'll see him uh, do Pangolier things. Pangolier is so good at killing bosses, and he also scales quite well as a fighting right click. Meanwhile, Weaver on the other side, um, who's a really, really great hero, super duper good boss killer because of the bugs. The slippery one. Oh yeah, um, there's also some nice synergy with the minus armor along with the Witch Doctor ultimate. Ooh, that's true. A team covered in bugs gets Witch Doctor ultimates, and they're gonna be hurting. Like, imagine Come Witch Doctor on, ultimate. Shadow Fiend. Dazzle ultimate. Gonna... Shadow Fiend with the aura. Next. Oh no! Let's, oh, let's that's go! Just let's go! Go and just destroy everything. All in on the Witch Doctor ultimate. Just melt their whole team with some bounces. Yeah, Witch Doctor ultimate does have a pretty long cooldown though, so. That's true. But oh, I mean, mass matter. minus armor is always just good anyway. Um, but in, on a more serious note, a Viper is an actually good pick there. <laughs> um, I don't know how much yeah. I like the Viper. Like, what does the Viper for? Uh, I think it's just for being good. Yeah, I guess so. But like, I don't know. I always find that to be a pretty weak argument for a hero. Like, I feel like you gotta just have like, more for game. He does plan. a lot of damage. He's got a lot of tools. He's He's not like quite a hard carry. He's got a lot more utility than that. I don't know. I think he's great. Yeah. All right. I mean, he is just a strong hero, and he can definitely yeah, fight well early, so which helps. Good. It's like picking Io to play support. Like, <laughs> still just good. Yeah, you don't really need a combo. You can just have. Yeah, him. you don't need a combo. It's actually just a good hero in concept. It's just the combos are ridiculous, so they get all the attention. See what this pick's gonna be. What does their team need right now? The Pangolier is fantastic because he fulfills both the role of medium camp farm. Actually, he he fulfills all three really important roles on the team, which is someone who can kill corner camps, someone who can kill medium camps, and someone who can kill bosses. No, oh, Jakiro. Jakiro, great pick. That fits well with that. Uh, you know, out. Fighting them early to try to keep the support low level. And really? stuff. Chikiro is a fantastic so, early fighter. So he he does fight really well early, but I feel like he's just super weak against Viper and against Kunkka and against Weaver. I mean, he does somewhat okay against the Witch Doctor, but like against the Hour Three, I feel like once you get past the very early stages, he just doesn't perform that well. And honestly, even super early on, Jakiro doesn't really do anything against Weaver. How does a Jakiro interact with Weaver? I mean, he doesn't. He's going to be fighting the other supports. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I find the Jakiro actually to be a little bit questionable. I would rather have seen so, something like a Disruptor or something like that. Yeah, Disruptor would be great. I'm curious, though. Uh, why do you think that Jakiro is not good against Kunkka? I mean, I don't think anyone's good against Kunkka. I'm just curious <laughs> what you're, you're thinking. Uh, because Jakiro is all about like damage over time. And Kunkka is super happy to fight you over time. He doesn't mind that. Because mm. of the, the, the rum. Yeah. He always wins fights over time. Like, that's just a fight that Kunkka wins. If you give him time to get a bolt buff going on, on his team, then you will lose that fight. On top of that, Jakiro is not a hero that performs that well if he's caught out, and Kunkka is a champion at catching people out. Like, Jakiro is. What does a Jakiro do if he gets X torrent? Nothing. Like, he cannot interact anymore. Um, he'll and be in a bad spot it, and then he ice paths afterwards <laughs> yeah but that's not a real response you know like Jakiro is a yeah. hero that really needs to be very careful in his positioning and Kunkka screws that up so I don't know I feel like Jakiro definitely sure. comes with what merit I just don't know if it's enough merit to really like see him performing well now I do like the Ooh, axe though I think axe is actually go. good hey Truffle what happened to Chris I don't know he's right here what I don't know Truffle Hunt asked what happened to Chris it's just, it's just my birthday. It's not a big deal. Oh, maybe he's asking about what happened earlier. He just overslept. Oh yeah, I, my alarm just simply didn't go off. I'm quite sure I said it. <clears throat> yeah, well, we'll see. The Dragonite coming. I love Dragonite. I don't know how much I love him here, but I love him in general. I actually think he's like one of the most underrated heroes in the game. And that's me Dragonite's accepting great. the fact that people uh, that most people think Dragonite is pretty solid, but I think he's actually very, 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 very good. I think he's super strong because he just kind of becomes unkillable with Dragon Blood. 
And then you give them a five second stun on top of that, and you just kind of jump in and, and five second stun people. It's really nice, it's very strong. And eventually, he just is permanently in dragon form. Yeah, that too. But like, it's fantastic. Yeah, what I like to do with Dragonite though is I just go for um, like an aura supporting build and uh, go for Dragon Ta, like the 1.57, 1.75 seconds extra Dragon Tail stun, Blink Dagger, and all you do is you just blink in and five second stun people with the W, and it's got a nine second cooldown and it's essentially a Beastmaster <laughs> roar. <laughs> yeah. And um, it turns out that's really hard to deal with. Like it's 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 super super rough. And then eventually, when he's, it becomes permanently ranged. <laughs> yeah. Well, for most fights, it's it's not really like super important because like he will have the the, the dragon form active for duels and such anyway. But yeah, I don't know. I think Dragonite is actually an awesome hero, and the greatest part about him is uh, usually on supports, you know, you kind of have to invest some money into tanking up because else you die, so you gotta get like a Shiva's guard or something like that. Dragonite doesn't need to do that. He just doesn't have- You can just get that stuff. He you just can double it. down and get super mega tanky if you want, but you just have inbuilt tankiness. Yeah, and, and so you no, can just so invest much. much more into items like Helm of the Dominator, which again, does also help with tankiness, but it's just not like a hard commitment. Oh, Witch Doctor ends up going down. Uh, he was staying alive very long. It's actually very important because the Witch Doctor was healing his team in that period. Like, that helped a lot. Oh, nice. They got him with that. And then uh, it seems to me this is going to be a pretty clear win for the Dire. Uh, yeah. Unless the Axe gets some hella good spins, but he doesn't even have spin. So. I, I also just realized something really interesting. Um, so we, we know that Mr. Random is like the, always the hard carry, the like hard farmer on the Arnold team. Yeah. Um, and I was expecting him to be playing the Weaver with the other player, super player playing the Dragon Knight. And I'm really excited to see Mr. Random on the Dragon Knight, which means we're going to have a position one hard farming Dragon Knight. Yeah, so it's really different cool. from what I was talking about, which was like more to supporting Dragon Knight. Um, mm -hmm. Now, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Dragon Form is an incredible ability, right? Like, it's... Yeah. It's Scotty and, and Battle Fury and you become a ranged hero and it's, it's so many things about, about Dragon Form are just absolutely insane. It's such a god tier spell. Um, and Mr. Random can get levels. Yeah. So he's going to have it. Free Fire also does a solid amount of damage. Of course, damage reduction goes a long way. I, all around, like I, I, I do like Dragon Knight. I, I feel like I have, I have been stressing <laughs> this for a while now, but... Let's just sum it up with I think Dragon Knight is very, very good and I'm excited to see how he plays out. Yep. I think he's going to farm pretty slow until that five minute mark when he gets his cleave boots. Yeah, probably. I mean, he doesn't really do doesn't that really much have. this early on. Yeah. That's, that's where I actually think like you can be a little bit more dynamic in OAA. Where, like, maybe it would be better to just send a Dragon Knight out of, out of the base, like have somebody else farm there. Like maybe the Kunkha or something like that. Have the Dragonite just kind of run around and be fat. Like, honestly, in early fights, sometimes just being fat is good enough. You don't really need anything else. And then after you have your farming boots, you come back into the base and start grinding up. Because, like, right now, he really isn't very good at this. He's, he's slow. This is this is a very slow farming Dragonite. And, and That said, he's the highest level in the game. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you know, it's, no. it's not necessarily not working. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to see him doing like basically one easy camp and then switching over to the mediums. I think that's the right play here. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna take him a minute, but as when he kills down this medium camp, he's... he might even be level six by the end. All right. No, uh, oh, where's the <laughs> ticket? Uh, the counter? Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't put an overlay on for the teams, but uh, currently the dire side is already up one game. So it's a best of three. The dire side is up one game. The radiant side has zero games. Um, so if the Dire side wins this match, they will win the tournament. If the Radiant wins, then they will get another chance at taking this themselves. Oh, Supreme is now starting to do some pango things. He's got himself the, the Javelin rushing that as It's pretty standard, I think. But he is not in a great spot, actually. There is a Weaver right around the corner. Dude, Kiddo Laser is the best at snatching multi runes. He's been doing that, like... Yeah. All he just set. takes invisible heroes, his heroes and just gets bounty rings. Yeah, he's so good at this. I love that that's basically his role. I feel like that's like a new role in OAA because of recent years. It's kind of like how adding corner creeps added a new role. Like heroes that are good at killing corner creeps are like a new important role. 
<laughs> Walks accidentally aggroes the boss and just. No, <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. Gets the one that. tap. <laughs> I like what Anti is doing here. I wonder if he's even gonna fight over this. Like, maybe just leech the experience. Nah, you gotta go for a torrent on this one. But if you look at the bottom left, you can see the Kunker just camping out supreme. He's actually gonna mess with him really early. I don't know why he did that. This axe is apparently having a pretty rough game. Um, you just expect an axe to be decently far ahead at this point. Yeah, he's not got much. Yeah. Um, seems like he's really struggling. Well, Ante's gonna actually try to steal his corner camp. Come on, come on, dude, you can do it. Oh yeah, they're actually gonna take it. Oh, oh no! Wait, who got it? I think I think Kittle Laser got it. Yeah, Pangolier didn't. He doesn't have like any gold. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the Kunkka did get it. All right. I think the Kunkka got it. Yeah, I'm a Kittle Laser. That was hella close though. All right, they're gonna use the Jakiro with the axe here. I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of uh, just pure survivability around the uh, but This is the call. Torrent, that boat. That was a bad spot. Ooh, I was going to say everyone just runs away, but... I think it's axed back in. Take it down. Alright. Mox got some, gets himself the bounty rune. And yet again, I really feel like the, the Dire side, they're just doing a better job at picking up these bounty runes. And as a result, they are, yeah. their supports are just a higher level. Yeah, they're really, really on top of the bounty runes. I think it's pretty obvious that they've been like focusing and practicing their, yeah. their bounty rune game. They, are, they, they have acknowledged that this is uh, just going to be an important part of the game now. And... and Oh, but kind of funny. Anti just completely skipping Tightbring up for now. Uh, makes a lot of sense. Axe yeah, gonna be dropping. Yeah, I don't level it early game. I do one point it before I level up Axe too much, though. Anti on the retreat. Yeah, just gonna gonna fall back here. Yep. It's probably the, the smartest play as well. Gets drums. Drums, Tranks on Kunkka, he's looking like my Kunkka. <laughs> if he had a ward stack as well, that would, that would basically be my Kunkka. Yeah, we've got a ward stack on the Witch Dog first, so though. He'll and be taking care build, of that. Uh, Meteor Hammer next. Oh, Meteor Hammer. Meteor Hammer Kunkka, Kunkka is the truth. Alright, I mean, it does sound pretty scary. Mr. Random oh. now with his treads, the dragon form. He's got no problem cleaning out these creep camps, especially with the good old Daedalus helping him with the damage output. Yep. Uh, what's funny is that, like, while I expected this to be the point at which he would start to accelerate, it is instead the point at which the Pangolier managed to catch up. Because he's been number one level the whole game. The Pangolier mm -hmm. finally just caught up and tied it. Um, because Pangolier actually gets much more benefit from that cleave oh, than yeah. anyone on the map does. It's crazy. Like, Pangolier yeah, once he gets Pangolier's farming boots. Pangalier with farming roots is just an entirely new hero. He, he goes absolutely crazy. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was great. Just makes um, him disappear. Taking a lot of damage, honestly, most of the right. There we go. They did, they did still lose a bunch of those creeps, though. They did, yeah. But that's not ideal. Supreme trying to make this work anyhow. Now going for uh, Diffusal Blade. That will help. Also picking up some life steal. Seems this is actually going to be like a good old just right click Pangalia trying to really be the main carry, do some damage. Yeah, I mean, I think he has to be. It's not like they have another decent carry on their team. Yeah. Axe is the next best thing, I guess. No, he is actually uh, an important difference between Pangalia in uh, OAA and Pangalia in regular Dota. The Heart Piercer ability doesn't quite work the same way. So in regular Dota, Pangalia is actually very good against Dragon Knight because Heart Piercer sets his armor to zero, even the Dragon Blood armor. So Dragon Knight can't really tank much without that, of course. But in OA, uh, Heart Piercer only sets your base armor to zero. So since Dragon Knight actually has a, a lot of bonus armor and not that much base armor, Heart Piercer isn't actually all that good against him. So that's kind of a different dynamic. 
Walk's getting some words out. He's about to get caught, though. All right. <laughs> Got a big duel coming up. The Witch Doctor's level 12, so the little, uh, level 2 ultimate is ready. And honestly, that's pretty solid already. Like, at this stage, level 2 ultimate does still hurt. Weaver. Oh, time lapsed out. But immediately stunned up. Dragon Knight, in the meantime, going for the Ogre Match. Gonna be Ice Blasted. He is uh, standing here. Gonna be rooted up in the fire. Chopped up by Supreme as well. Dragon Knight almost certainly gonna fall. Great time belt. Yeah, Mr. Random does go down. Yeah, yeah they just locked down Mr. Random, but the, the boat was fantastic. Yeah, Pangolier though, look at him. Just going nutty with his Satanic. I mean, he oh, is... Yeah. This is a scary boy just going in. He has a butterfly as well. He is here to fight. Today we fence, my boys. <laughs> Room's a lot bigger than uh, anything that the dire team can try. Oh, 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 Wox. No, you can't do it. You can't do it. The dream was there, but you can't do it. <laughs> Sidesteps the torn. So, in case you're wondering why the Kunkka is still alive and didn't shut it, um, we have expressed earlier, or we did express earlier, that uh, we are surprised people are still prioritizing Ancient Apparition so much. And that's because we have nerfed Ancient Apparition a lot. In fact, we have nerfed him so much uh, that we aren't even trying to really keep him in the game. Like, my these last rounds of nerfs were really just with the intent of kind of like removing him from the meta so we get a little bit of a meta game without him before we bring him back because he's just such a dominant, constant force whenever he is in the meta game. Um, so yeah, Let's give him a little break. Yeah, it's just kind of like <coughs> we can do without you for a tournament or two, right? Like, it'll be fine. Um, but it seems we have failed at that. Now, how have we nerfed them? Well, um, Cold Feet now has a lower stun duration um, across all levels. We have Ice Vortex has a lower slow and magic increase to, uh, amount on all levels, as well as an increased cooldown. Chilling Touch is the same. Ice Blast has a lower duration um, across all levels. As well as no longer shattering when you uh, drop to a certain amount of percentage. Instead, you actually just have to die fully. And then on top of that, at level 25, the 450 AOE cold feet. Um, of course, that is only half of what it is in Dota, which is 900 AOE. Despite this, we still see Ancient Apparition. This guy is just never going away. <laughs> But Which also shows how absurdly strong he was before all these nerfs. The fact that he's still first pick, first ban viable in tournament after all of these changes. Yeah, so... Um, what, what monster was this before? <laughs> there are quite a few things different about him. And um, I think it's just important that we are aware of this going through the game. In case you'll be surprised why Kunka was still running around. Even though he was so low, he should have shattered. Anyhow. We've got our Pangolina, almost level 25. Level 25, of course, pretty nice. Um, although, I don't know what he's going for. Uh, both talents are actually really good. I have seen both as well. I expect the Swashbuckle cooldown, but uh, Rolling Thunder cooldown is definitely not a bad choice either. I think Rolling Thunder cooldown is on the more utility Pangolier. I think this is clearly a core right-click Pangolier. Yeah. I feel like it has to be Swashbuckle cooldown, but we'll find out what it goes for. Um, sometimes you play interesting hybrids. That happens every once in a while. And maxing isn't always the truth. No, Ice Blast gonna be flying right here. Vox uh, activates his ultimate, gonna be stunned out of it. Good old Jakiro burning every, everything inside. Dragonite next to mine here. It's gonna be chopped up. Oh, nice! The time lapse from the Weaver! Mr. Random just holds his ground. Boat coming in. Gonna stun him up. And that should be death for Supreme. No, Supreme man just to scoot away out of there. He's still standing. No torrent's gonna be coming out. Anti, still kind of chasing him down, but has to give up in the end. Axe uh, has a Maledict on him. So this Axe will probably be going down right here. Yeah, that's a dead Axe. 1355 magic damage from the Maledict. Ogre Magi activates the Ghost Scepter on the retreat, but stunned up. Dragonite just simply doing a little bit too much. He now has his... Wait, what? He went for plus 20 into all stats over the two times Dragon Blood HP region? What? Okay, that's surprising. I just don't agree. I think that's just the wrong choice. Uh, yeah. I don't know, like, I feel like in this game, I can actually see it. What does he need the armor for? What does he need the region for? 
It's only 20. Well, 20 isn't actually that low. 20 is quite a bit. I mean, 20, 20 is like a good amount, but... I don't know, like, when he upgrades his drums once more, it, it'll give the same stats as that. Uh, yeah, I'm not say saying I agree. I probably would have gone for the other choice as well, simply because, um, you know, it's just more consistently good, I think. But I can't see where he's coming from. There's just not much of a reason for armor in this game. Um, and he's playing against Ancient Apparition, which is going to be taking away his regeneration anyway. It's true, I get the regen part, but I'm thinking for tanking the Pangolier. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll, well, we'll see how it works out for them, right? Yeah. I mean, hey, they're in the finals. No, we would have made it, if not for our own rules. Feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There goes the axe. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate that they had this uh, tier 1 snatched. It is a tier 1, right? No, that was actually... No, that was a tier 1. Yeah, that was a tier 1. Bunch of T1s yeah, have already the, gone down. The only bosses that have been killed by sure are tier ones. And now the Russians are as well. Wow, all the bosses really got rushed down pretty quick. They just kinda feel like I blinked and they're gone. How did the cores end up distributed? Seems like both teams have a bunch of tier one cores, so they both did at least alright. Both teams have enough to complete all their basic items. Looks like it, yeah. Cool. Alright, um, Dragon Knight now has a 5 second single target stun, so that's good. <laughs> oh man, Dragon Tail is such a scary ability, it's actually, it's actually a little insane. It's a long stun, it's a really long duration. Yeah. We've got um, Axe finding uh, himself, who's that, the Weaver? Yeah, Weaver's just gonna time lapse though. This Reba is actually some, uh, a little bit of a hybrid between a, a core and a support right here. Picking up the Aghanims just in case and then going for the more physical route. Otherwise, hard on top also of got a heart yeah. instead of a Satanic, so I feel like he's a, quite a bit of a support in Void. But he's still, he's still a Weaver, he's still, still a standard, just like a little, a little bit of right click. <clears throat> I think the Desolator makes sense, he's just like a minus armor machine. Nice taunt. We were going to be going down. That's nice. a good call. Yeah, that would be something where the armor from the Dragon Knight's talent uh, would have been nice uh, against the blade mail. Blink blade mail from the um, axe. Oh, Pangalia takes a lot of damage. Maledict is on him. He's probably dead. Nope, nope, nope. Maledict runs out and Satanic is active. Mr. Random on the retreat. And he goes down. Supreme just chews him apart. Yeah, sentries are all over the place and this ability won't get you all that far. Which Doctor gonna be chopped up as well? Eckler, making sure he doesn't get away. Chasing down Laranol. Yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, oh, do you just see making lots of his boss? Oh, gets him. Okay. Kiddo Laser, now next in line. Whoo! Is he dead? I think he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, this this Weaver is actually dead. There we go. Nice. Oh, they just push him off the the, the capture point. That's, that's smart. I don't think it's actually gonna work, but I, I appreciate the thought. Anti gonna be going down. This is one of the big strengths of Jakiro. Um, a really significant part of OAA are capture points like this. And Jakiro is great at dealing with that. He just put a macro pad down. Nobody wants to fight on that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it doesn't actually have an Aghanims. I would like to see an Aghanims. Um, it's kind of oh, tricky. Yeah, right. What would he drop? Hmm. Probably the Shiva. Yeah, I don't know if he needs an Octarine I actually core. think the Octarine core. He doesn't need an octarine core, he's yeah. It's not like the ultimate has a long cooldown anyway, it's 60 seconds, like you don't really need octarine core, I don't think so. Yeah, and since you're a support, you really don't need the spell still, you're much better off having more utility in this pocket. Being able to just do more damage, have a more effective ultimate. Um, okay. Alright, going into a duel, a 5 on 5. I've Mr. Today's been a lot of 5v5s. It's good. I love, I love everyone plopping down wards right at the start of the duel. That's awesome. Oh, he goes for the Ancient Apparition. Gonna try to kill. Oh! Look at that! There's three heroes right on top of each other! The Cleave! Oh my god, yeah. he just did so much damage, cleaving them all down. It's what only Supreme left. Oh, that's not the greatest spot for this ultimate. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna end this. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is not the best spot to use that ability. <laughs> it's not. Oh, man. Yeah, the Kunkka boat was just insane. He dragged three of them all into one spot, and then Mr. Random just A-clicked on top of the group. <laughs> Okay, I'm fighting one other boss up here. Oh, the time lapse. I love the yeah, time yeah. lapse. Time lapse off the bosses, nuke. It's got such a long cast range as well. Like, this Weaver was actually outside of the boss pit casting that. No. Oh. <laughs> the bosses are definitely having a, a, a part in this fight. Throwing out some stuns. Doing, doing a solid amount of damage here. And there's the jump. <gasps> it's gonna hit for heroes. Oh, <laughs> gets two of them. <laughs> Go get him, boys! Hello? You can do it. I believe in you. Man, these slimes are the absolute homies. You go! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! They're coming! They're coming! They're coming! Yules. Pangolier just gets bursted down though. Yules actually just saved this this dragon knight. This is a very dangerous boss. Was that another time lapse? That was awesome. The Dragon Knight got blink called at very low HP, like guaranteed death, and just instant time lapse. Oop, the bosses have him in his sights. Boom. Oh, wow. Chikuchi's out of the. This is such a dumb fight. I like God, that they know how dumb this going against is. Each other. Oh, walks with the oh, big ultimate. Yeah, he's got the, he's got the level 25 talent. He's that that just won the fight. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's just like, all right, guys, let's end this fight. Come on. Yeah, yeah we don't have that <laughs> much time. Come up. on, man. <laughs> There's an artifact tournament going on. We got to watch that shit, too. Like, what? what is this? Yeah, he's like, guys, I just want to watch Artifact. Yeah. Let's just, let me, let me <laughs> take care of this real quick. Let's pop my BKB and... All right, so finish off this boss. Um, oh, they could, he could go in and try to get Oh yes, he gets the blink call. They have, this is oh, a nice done, great nice fight for the Radiant team. Oh yeah, oh they're actually gonna get it. The boat. Get on the point, get on the point. Actually, there's another boat, the boat coming. Oh, yep, oh you're all off the point. Man, if that Dragonite was there right there, that would have been an absolute disaster. Oh, nice, yeah, keep him out. Awesome, they actually managed to snatch that. I'm, I'm really surprised that they managed to pull that off. Did the Dyer side not? Did the dice side not put all of the heroes on the point or something? Um, no, that was the problem. They had all the heroes on the point, and then the axe just blink called in. The mm. Pangolier came rolling in. The uh, the Jakiro put the ultimate down. Yeah, well, uh, that this was, team, if that you look at this team thing. lineup, it's actually fantastic for contesting capture points. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, that, that's the biggest strength for Jakiro. I feel like, like, like yes, he's really good fighting early, but I actually what I like him the most for is Aghanims, and he just kind of like burn down a capture point. <laughs> and this is why you need to deward pits before you kill bosses in them. Um, it's even fine for there to have been a ward and for them to see you go there as long as you can win the fight. But you can't have them have vision of you while you're killing the boss. Otherwise, the second you kill that boss, they're just going to appear out of nowhere. All five of them. And it's exactly what happened to this, the dire team there. Fed a core. Yeah. A tier two also that they fought, that they invested a lot of time into. Well, they're gonna go ahead and get themselves uh, another tier two right here. Mm -hmm. uh, Dragonite going for the Mask of Madness again, so they seem to really favor that. Interesting. Yeah, Mr. Random, I guess, likes the Mask of Madness. Also picks oh, up nice. uh, a drum. Which is interesting because the Dragon Tail. Maybe it's just for boss rushing. Well, you can actually like go in there, activate the 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 Dragon Tail, and then Mask of Madness. My Mask of Madness only lasts eight seconds by the time your Dragon Tail is ready again. You oh yeah, that's actually yeah. So the timing actually does line sure. up, but you do have to be very precise about it. So I guess if he's confident that he can do that, then I don't really see a problem. Although yeah, it's interesting. I do have to say that again, if he was gonna go for Mask Commander, I kind of feel like he should have gotten the other talent. But <laughs> I think he just plainly got the wrong talent. <laughs> yeah. So seven. we don't pretend like all of the talents on all heroes are evenly balanced. That's just not a thing. Right, like some talents are just blatantly better than others, um, and I, we blame Dota for it. I blame Dota for it um, because we don't actually make all of the talents; we just kind of like take them from Dota. Um, we have started modifying talents recently, 
but it's just it, there's just a lot of them all right so everything that isn't really like a, a problem or isn't really broken um it's just kind of like you know accepted it's fine um and and this is like one of those examples where really i think that the two times dragon blood hp region is just better than plus 20 to all starts but yeah is Spark even going to have talents? Yeah, Spark is actually going to have a lot more talents than Dota does. We are actually going a lot harder. We're going to be a talents. bit more talent centric. Yeah. Uh, and our because talents are going to go harder too. Talents are sick. Like, I love talents. They're I think so talents cool. are great. Yeah. They're amazing. I love talents. Talents are absolutely fantastic. So, we want to expand on that. We think there's more you can do. <laughs> they need to get on this capture point. Why are they not in the capture point? I think they wanted to secure the fight. No, that was a mistake. That was just terrible. I don't know why they aren't on the capture point. They, they had enough time to actually capture this if they had just been on there. But instead they just... Like, while they were oh, fighting down here... Another core. That's another core fed. Yeah, like, I don't understand this. This is just... That was a... That was just, that was just weird. That was just weird to me. If, if Radiant Team can keep... The keeping them distracted, one of them can secretly uh, try to capture the actual capture point, which is active right now. <laughs> yeah, that's part. Just walked through it. Now he's going to go for the fight instead. Maybe yeah. he's like, actually... No, this is just going to be a cleanup and a reset. There's no reason for the Radiant to keep coming back into this right here. Yeah, I think the only reason to do it would be to keep them away from the capture point if they were going to try to sneak it, but they're not going for any such play. Mm, um, it's a bit risky. They do need to go for their own capture point at some point. They, none of them are on it. So personally, yeah, I actually think the level three capture point is really, really important. Um, the level three capture point is the one that you like cannot really guarantee you're gonna get a. Well, like, you cannot usually reliably get a level three capture, uh, level three core before the level three capture point. Um, or at least it's pretty damn difficult. So. I, I always like making sure that, you know, we have that. Because Sanction Yasha coming out on Dragon Knight. So Sanction Yasha is actually a very high level item. Oh, finds the axe, gonna stop working on this and then gets blown up. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> and there's spiders coming. Oh, he actually dies to the blade mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he melts himself. Oh, spiders, spiders, spiders. Oh, they steal the kill! <laughs> oh, Laronel gets sniped out by the spider boss. All right, they're gonna go ahead and take down uh, the axe, I assume. I don't know if they can hit the tar in his days. He might be dead anyway, just to maledict. No, 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 he's got region. Yeah. All right, modify dragon form all the time. So dragon form isn't permanent, um, but at level four, every time he attacks, he has a 40% chance to turn into the dragon. And if he is already in dragon form and then gets that proc, then it extends the dragon form. So you have very long durations on a dragon form. Um, yeah, on especially with that Mask of Madness, he has a ton of... And the Sanjay Yasha, he's got a ton of attack speed. Yeah. So the duration is essentially infinite for him. Not quite infinite, but at level 5 it does become infinite. And uh, that's like... Yeah, that's where Dragon Knight really becomes super, super scary. Because it turns out dragon form is a very powerful ability. Uh, it seems like a very clean fight from the dial right here. You're just gonna get us. Uh, they're just gonna get themselves all of the kills. So there's nothing much that can be done about it. Jakiro goes down. We've got a second duel going on with Cyberpunk going up against the um, Kunka. It's actually a, a lot more interesting. I don't know if he has enough damage for this. He needs to actually use the <laughs> ice blast. Well, I should person can't get through the Lucian ceiling. Also, this is where if Kanka had a Meteor Hammer, he'd stand a pretty good chance here. Because you can do the Perma Stun if you do Ultimate and then Torrent and then immediately start channeling the Meteor Hammer. You could they end up getting Boat, Torrent, Boat, Meteor Hammer, Boat. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. <laughs> and that build is a very effective dueler. But with no damage, instead he's just going to spam his taunt over and over and over again and stand on the capture. Well, <laughs> if it makes him happy. Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. <laughs> I think it does. I think it really does make him happy. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna go for a tier 3 right here. Ooh, 
Ooh, Arnold with the Helm of the Dominator. Love that item. Oh, it's yeah. Crazy attack speed. Up. No, it's Which, actually yeah, one of my favorites as well. It. Yeah, talking about Dragon Knight's attack speed. That on top of it. It's really just so, so, so quick. Something I really think that the Dire Side is doing right is, is getting a lot of these auras. You know, you've got a pipe of inside, you've got the Lucians, you've got the Helm of the Dominator. And they're not just... They're not just on a single hero, they're spread out a little bit, so... I don't know, I, I like that a lot, I think it's very powerful. Dragon Knight is just gonna go ahead and get himself a quick kill. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Random is just... Scary, I guess it's just a scary Dragon Knight, honestly. Yep, Scott. Oh, wow, he's taking a lot of damage. It's gonna... Yeah, yeah, Pangolin manages to get him. That's the thing is though, Pangolier does a lot of damage. A lot. Mm. Except right now I think he's stuck in the trees. <laughs> it's true, right <laughs> now he's not doing that much. <laughs> His damage value admittedly is much lower while stuck in trees, but... This is gonna be another very close game. Yeah, it really, really is. I think I have my money on Way to Death this time. Last time I was feeling Larnal plus four this time. I think Way to Death's actually gonna take this one. What do you think? Do you I don't know. I think that the Radiant side is... They are winning fights, but they're always winning the fights that it seems like is in an advantageous position for them. And I feel like the mm -hmm. duels are... And it's good that they are getting into those advantageous positions, and I think they're playing that really, really well to make that happen. Oh, by the way, look at Supreme's skill build. Um. <laughs> Wait, doesn't he have a skill point? He right should now? have another skill point, yeah. I don't know what he's waiting for. With it. Um, but I do think that on in a like, more even fight, in a in a neutral fight, which is what duels are, the dire side wins. And and that's kind of what's gonna decide the game. So I, I feel like the, the Radiant really needs to outplay if they wanna 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 take yeah. this one. If you if you can't win a duel, you can't win a game. Yeah. I, I'm not saying they can't win a duel, I'm just saying that I think it's much, much harder for them. And they can yeah. make it happen, but they're gonna have to really work for it. I think but, it depends a lot on Pangolier initiation. I think Pangolier is a fantastic initiator. The ultimate just makes him so hard to deal with, as well as the shield crash. Um, so you can initiate without just getting bursted down instantaneously, which yeah. is really nice about that hero. I think a lot of this also comes down to whether or not um, Dragonite decides to finally swap out those threats for the Scotty in his backpack. Because he really <laughs> should be doing that. <laughs> like how many items he's building at once? He's, yeah, he's been doing that in every game. Like, they're all keeping stuff in their backpack. Yeah, it's interesting how they do that. Um, I wonder if he will buy a Blade of Shaka. I was thinking that would really, really help out the Dragon Knight. Uh, what item was that? Blade of Judeca. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be very Knight, powerful. I think would be a good call. Um, I also think the Pangolier should also get a Blade of Judeca, but I do not suspect that he will. Um, I think the Blade of Judeca on Pangalia is not actually, necessary. Actually, it's not really necessary because they have the AA. Yeah. yeah. And I think so that's actually really a huge yeah. advantage yeah. of AA. Like, it essentially gives this Pangalia another inventory slot. And, you know, he's got himself a Basher. Which, that's that's strong. Like, that's pretty scary. So, um, I... Yeah. I think you always get a Basher with Pangalia. It's so good. Alright, they're going to go and get themselves another T4 right here. What is Supreme doing? He's all 49. He could max out all of his abilities. Yes, he could. Is he like bugging the game or something? Or I, I don't get it. Oh, he finally maxed his Q. And why did he wait so long? I don't understand this. This is really weird to me. I don't know. Like maybe he's actually like somehow bugging the game. Like his weird skill bolts like lagged it out or something. I don't know. Very odd, very odd. For lower cooldown, yes. but... Okay, so he could keep the Rolling Thunder at a lower level so he can more frequently hit the Rolling Thunder stun. But that's an incredibly inconsistent strategy. Like, it's so inconsistent, it's not good. Yeah, 
I was also really hoping to see them abuse the Yule's trick with tier two bosses. Hmm. It's really fun to watch. All right, they're gonna go ahead and grab themselves. Uh... Oh, nice taunt right there. Ooh, Ice nice. Blast gonna connect on free. Larnal. Oh, Axe is dead though. In the boats. Ooh, oh, the double boats. Going well. Yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about. You know, this fight, this fight was a good initiation, but afterwards the it wasn't in in a Jeez, great spot for them, right? And then the, the raw power fight they couldn't take. Boats are so good. Yeah, boats are very good. And Dragonite finally level tickets. five. Uh, level five ultimate. So at this stage, the Dragon transformation is actually permanent. Yeah, it doesn't matter how often he attacks or anything. It's actually just truly permanent. It's now a passive ability. Yeah. You can see the active effect goes away. It no longer has a mana cost or anything. It's just passive. He's just a dragon now. <clears throat> cool, edgy dragon. Yeah, Kunka uh, can finish up his uh, Lucians if he wants to. I, I love the wards around the map. It seems like they've just kind of like drawn a line diagonally from the top left to the bottom right and each claimed a side and warded the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's somewhat true. Yeah, there's like literally a front line to their ward battles. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna go ahead and take down these bosses again. So at this stage, it's um, probably just gonna be a race to... Oh, nice, nice. Nice uh, disengage right there. They do actually manage to not get hit by Ice Blast. At least not all of them. Axe is dead though. Man, this Axe is just not doing that much in these fights. Pangolier goes in on the Dragonite. Dragonite takes a lot of damage, but Pangolier gonna be forced to go on the Witch Doctor instead. Doesn't wanna take all of that uh, ward damage. Yeah, he's just losing this fight again. Yeah, yeah, they actually just don't have the right quick damage. Yeah, yeah. Just too spit up, although Mr. Random really needs to get away from that. And that's another core for the Dire side. Yeah, it's just like these past few encounters are looking really rough. Yeah, it's actually swinging pretty pretty heavily in favor for the Larnal squad now. Hey, Camper Killer, thanks for stop. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Gonna go ahead and have to deal with Omni Party for a second. Ah, uh, seems we're going into a duel. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, if Radiant side wins this, oh, Dire side, yeah. If Dire side wins this duel, then it's actually gonna lead straight into a final duel. So it's pretty important. Yeah. Also, I think this will be very indicative of how the final duel will, will play out once one yeah. minute's triggered. Although I don't imagine people will be using a lot of ultimates right here. This is true. Cause I think they're anticipating. Oh, nice time lapse. Gonna go ahead and just start working on the Ogre Magi. The huge stun duration, but Mr. Random gonna be Ice Blasted. So he's dropping, he's just standing in the macro pyre though. I mean, that's a bit questionable. Ice Path coming out, doesn't quite hit though. Somehow expertly manages to snipe right between two players. Axe goes down. Oh yeah, this is... Despite all of that, it's actually still not even close. Um, Ancient Apparition gets destroyed. Witch Doctor is actually managing to heal them so much. So Witch Doctor should really have bought the... What just happened? <laughs> Wait, what? How did you ever just kill them all? <laughs> what? Why are they dead? What? How did that happen? What's going on? Shakira's a boss, oh my god. No one saw is, is, he gonna, is he gonna win this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I mean, you can't stand on top of this macro pile. This is not a good idea. Yeah, and he's got the Octarine Core, which is keeping all these things, healing him, and just keeping the tick. So this uh, this actually does mean it's not going to oh trigger a final duel right away. Unless Larnal manages to burst him down right now. Nope. nope. There it goes. Okay. Well, that was insane. I don't know how everyone just died, but it was This Witch Doctor cool. should really upgrade his Aghanims right here. 
I somehow his Shiva's that. guard did like quadruple damage. <laughs> Okay. How does the guys VGG, I guess? No, no, those guys didn't make it. The final. Yeah, so this is a tier five, bo tier 5 boss. This guy will give two points, meaning that after this has been killed, um, we will have a final duel. Here we go. Please put something other than boots into your inventory slot. Ooh, I see an elixir on the Viper. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Get those things brain. going on. All right. BKB is already active. Sustainability elixir, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Arnold's going to be hard to kill. How many do they have? One on the Weaver, one on the... One of the Dragonite, one on the Viper. It does only last a minute, though. So I don't like that they aren't being aggressive with them. Yeah. All right, they get themselves the Ogre Magic. Ogre Magic, of course, pretty beefy, but not beefy enough to take this. Down he goes. The boat secures that kill. Oh my God! The bounces from the Witch Doctor just keeping them in a in a stun lock over there. Laurenal throws out his uh, Doom really quick. Two heroes already down for the Radiant. Viva did also die for the die though. Axe standing on top of the macro pile, trying to taunt them into it. And uh, Mr. Random is dying. This chick hero, uh, this Dragon Knight is dead. Wow. Kunka. Laronel's really like mm, the main DPS left here. And yep, they get him. Okay, so it's just the chick hero. Unless the chick hero can pull another wonder like he did last time. This is probably going to be game. And with that. All right. Laronel plus four. Takes another tournament. That was pretty yeah, good. Second tournament in a row for them. Uh, they clearly are quite a force at this game. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no GG. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was that was nice though. And with that, we conclude the November minor. All right. I think we can be reasonably happy with that. It was some good finals. I like the finals. Those were great finals. Mm. Uh, my giant fat cat is inside of the little tiny itty bitty like hammock in our tree downstairs. And Kayla just showed me a picture of it. And it's very funny. All right. <laughs> now I'm looking at all the spark memes. Yes, we do have. Uh, a I love. Lot I love when those things. two teams fight, though. It's always like so action packed. They just they go at it. It's it's so great. Yeah. All right. So, um, well, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys around.